Okay, audio check. I think if you can hear me talking, then we are beginning the stream. Let me just go window over here and... Is it working? Is it working? Okay, I think that the audio is working. Assuming that it is working right now, then uh, ev everything should be going through. Anyway, uh, today we're checking out I Am Future. I am going to have to figure out how to do this with my stream notes over on the screen. Okay, now there we go. Now I can... The show must go on. Okay, if you can hear me. Um, yeah, today we're checking out I Am Future. This is going to be a cozy survival automation crafting game. Um, but yeah, my friend Cromulan Archer checked this game out a while ago. Um, and judging by the fact that my friend Troopin is in the comments, um, I'm actually, like, rather excited because he is, like, my automation game idol. But yes, anyway, this game, uh, or the video is gonna be sponsored by Tiny Build. I'm kind of, like, out of, out of my normal shape today because I, uh, I've been sick for, like, an entire month, so I've just not been feeling very good. But thank you, uh, thank you for coming out today. Anyway, sponsored by Tiny Build, but, uh, yeah, worked with them for, uh, Cartel Tycoon a while back, and they've always got new and upcoming simulation games. Um, it is now available on Steam and just launched into early access, but, uh, yeah, they're developing the game and taking feedback if you want to check out my link below. Um... But yeah, anyway, I created a base in my first save file, although it's been a while and they've updated the game, so I think I'm just going to restart from scratch, as I think most games like this are, like, kind of meant to be experienced from scratch. Oh, thank you for wishing me to get better. I do appreciate it. I've been really sick. I got sick three times in a row. I, like, I woke up one week with a cold, and then I got the same cold the next week, and then I got the same cold the week after. And I was, like, coughing up mucus for days. So, anyway, on that, like, somewhat disgusting note, I do apologize for that. Um, but the fact that Troopin is in the is in the comments section is actually making me rather happy right now. But, yeah, anyway, at its heart, this is a farming automation game uh, where you start out as a single man, but build up and kind of, like, leverage your resources. Very, like, very much the emphasis here is on relaxing, so... Uh, yeah, I do, I do kind of want to relax now. I've just been thinking of, like, health. Um, I also bought a house as it happens, so it's, uh, it's been a crazy month, got sick a lot, and, uh, I'm happy to be back with you guys, happy to be doing something, uh, something new, and, you know, actually getting to cover more variety, it's been a while. But yes, anyway, let's, let's allow the game to have its, like, own bit of story right here, although, like, as, as I always say, story doesn't matter, so there is that. Well, that's more like VOD kind of thing. I don't know, I'm sort of melding the VOD channel and the main channel out. I don't even know who I am anymore on this platform. Okay, so a seagull has eaten a- Hibernation aborted. Your total hibernation time was six years. Okay, so for that matter, the only bit of story that really matters to me is the fact that you basically start as Fry from uh, no Futurama. However, I'm... that being said, oh, damn, this place is gorgeous. <laughs> he said the D word. Anyway, you start out as basically Fry from Futurama, except everything's not so great. When you wake up, it's it's actually quite bad. Um, so there is that. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and design our character. I'm just gonna pause for one second. Um, thank you very much, La La Loopsy. Thank you for the, uh, for the four ninety nine. Oh my di- Oh my gosh, hey, wait a minute, we've gotta talk! <laughs> oh my god, yeah, he was telling me about that. Anyway, yeah, it's been a crazy month. Um, but yeah, no, I was working with, um, a good friend of mine. Actually, a friend of a friend. From whom I met him. Anyway, so much to go off of now. So much to go off of. Pre-recorded? I am not pre -re This is not a pre-recorded AA stream. Absolutely not. How could I do that? <laughs> I did sound pre-recorded there at the beginning, though, didn't I? No, I'm just very rusty right now. Okay, so anyway, there is quite a lot to be done in this game. I've got my... S Wait a minute, where is my... Oh, there is my cybernetic hand. Wait a moment. Okay, I had to actually pick up the cybernetic hand. Was that in the original build? I don't recall this, although I did spend a lot of time on it. Anyway, so there is all of this crap on the roof. And we have to go ahead and get all of it out of the way. So hang on a second. Change, pick up. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to be given like a whole list of tasks. Although these tasks somewhat don't actually matter as it happens. I'm going to change my look and appearance into that of the noble, bald man. 
Uh, hang on a moment. No, I will take these, like, Giga Chad glasses and then maybe put on some headphones to show that I'm not even listening to you. No, absolutely not. I won't, like, cover my, my glorious bald head with a hat. Not even necessary. I am more evolved than the rest of the humans. Shorts, like a true Florida man. No, unfortunately, I won't do that. I'll be blousing my shoes. Okay, and let's take these brown Tims. Can't go wrong with Tims. All right, there we go. Now I have assumed the form of, uh... Now, honestly, I look like my cousin. I like my cousin, and he looks good. I'm not saying I'm into him. We have to face it. I'm not as, I'm not as fun and funny. Oh, yes, it is true. It is the miracles of post-production. J.R. Izzelli. Thank you very much for the five dollars. Sims games have sure gotten weird. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been pretty much out of it. Although my voice is now deeper and more gruff, and dare I say sexier, uh, from being sick, unfortunately. Although sometimes you take up on those opportunities of being sick in order to uh, in order to record more. Okay, so unfortunately the fridge is unready. So we need to go dis uh, find the fridge battery here somewhere. Okay, so generally speaking, the premise of this game is that we have all of this crap lying around, and we have to figure out something to do with it, which is oddly like, you know, the, uh, the conundrum that humanity will face over the next hundred, hundred and fifty years. So it's not, it's not really going particularly well, and it's just going to get worse. Anyway, after that optimistic forecast, um, what I am going to try to do here is just gather up as much crap as I can. Um, this is generally speaking the meaning of our lives in general. However, that being said, in video games, we have infinite space in our inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Uh, I do believe that was the battery here. Now, most of the technology in this game will be speaking to me. It's sort of like an LSD trip. Uh... But it, uh, how to make this sound more innocuous? Nothing innocuous. Well, uh, but like without the children's cartoons, you know. I don't really know. Just make of that whatever you will. Anyway, um, that all being said, yeah, we're going to try to gather up as much crap as we can on the roof. And then when I find a battery in here somewhere, I believe it's over here. Maybe? No, I have to go do some dismantling. There's quite a lot of mini-games here to be had. Do I ever think of doing voice acting? I don't think I really have a good enough voice for it. You know? Here we go. Okay, I did find the rusty saw. Here we go. One and two, and there we go. We can, Now we have wood. Now we're going to be spending a lot of time, like, picking things up and putting them down. So we're going to try to make that more efficient gradually as we start to get, like, automation bots. Here we go. Or, like, basically glorified Roombas that we'll just discover around the place. Um, although for the most part, we're going to have to actually construct them from scratch. Um, okay, so here we go. Oh, okay, the fridge has come to life. This is the reason I'm not actually getting a, a smart fridge. Now, it does have an attitude. This is reminding me, again, of Disney's smart home. Uh, hang on a second. Now, I do know I'm going to go ahead and just not do any of the story because I kind of know more or less what's happening here. Basically, I'm like the last man that I know of, and all that I can encounter are just robots around me. It's sort of like this solipsistic nightmare gone wrong. Um, I mean, the... Honestly, like the reality that I'm currently living in where I think that everyone around me is just an evil robot uh, Trying to destroy me or support me in some way however all that being said um, Yeah, there aren't any other people so it is kind of unfortunate like that so, <laughs> Excuse me ah, Let me just go ahead and grab a glass of water here uh, So I am going to be trying to like recrafting everything uh, excuse me. Try to recraft everything that seems to be broken on the rooftop. So there's all of this wood lying around. And of course, we're going to go ahead and deliver it to our place. Now, we can get the automation bots to do this, but it's sort of like a game about building up your leverage over time. So, yes, we have to experience 
the yoke of oppression, of having to handle all of the physical labor matters ourselves. Hodelock, thank you very much for the $2. So this game is Advanced Hobo Life. Essentially, every game, to be fair, is about moving up from our hobo state of affairs. That is valid. Okay, so I've slept upon the deck chair, have I? I can't fall asleep with all that noise. All right, so apparently I've already done it, my bad. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and help Earl. All right, the, the robot is talking again. Uh, he is upset about a leech on him. Okay, so protagonist, antagonist. Let's have a little chit chat about what's going on right here. So. Yes, we are in the midst of, like, basically global warming endgame. Except that instead of politicians, now, leeches have come up uh, out of their nests and climbed the buildings. They've scaled them, and now they're trying to eat away the technology. Perhaps like modern-day Luddites. Now, I, for one, may be in support of them. However, in this game, nature is the enemy. It's essentially, you know, the factory must grow. Okay, so we do get some poison spray. All right, I do support this. This is the ever, uh, never-ending quest of the Florida man, after all, to destroy all of the nature that attempts to invade his air-conditioned apartment. There we go. Excellent. All right, so now, ah, uh, hang on a moment. Construction panel. All right, so now I have some storage. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and not do any of the things that I did in my first playthrough. Heisenberg versus a slug. I suppose he does have a bit of a Heisenberg look about him, doesn't he? Shall we call him Walter? I mean, if this game is, after all, a cozy apocalypse survival simulation, who am I to not compare it to that of the greatest, uh, well, Meth Lord of modern pop culture history, Brian Cranston himself. Is it just that whenever we see a bald man with glasses, we think that he's some sort of like genius who, like some chemist genius? Perhaps there's room for that in the deep lore though. Okay, anyway, we've got to go ahead and remove these infected weeds and then we'll be building up a workbench after that. Did I take out all of them or are there more? Oh no, there is still, in fact, a leech around. Okay, now I've opened the door, though, to the next area. So a literal gate has barred me from passing that. Oh good, I found a backpack module. Okay, so now we can expand our inventory out. Okay, so as the game goes on, we're going to go ahead and find more of these, like, uh, modules for our back. Um, so this will allow us to carry around more stuff. Now, there is quite a lot of crap lying around in the game, so we have to go ahead and grab more of it. Um, but it's going to be kind of a dizzying nightmare how much is in our inventory. Uh, don't say that I didn't warn you. But here we go. We're going to continue with the quest of the Florida man, just taking out more of these weeds. I'm going to need a good lawyer. Yes, perhaps a good lawyer. Do you think Saul... Oh, who is it? What was Saul? Better call Saul. Saul Goodman? Well, why do I... Was it Saul Goodman? Better call Saul. Who did Saul call when he needs... When he has, like, a, a, a litigation dispute? Or does he call himself? <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook. <laughs> yeah. Oh... <laughs> Uh, Breaking Bad DLC when? <laughs> Please, Tiny Build. We need the, uh, we need the Breaking Bad DLC. It's all just an elaborate ruse, perhaps. Oh, good! Now I've found some fertilizer. Okay, now I can finally show you what the game is about. Oh, and my hunger bar is actually starting to die out horribly. Hang on a second, let me have some of these blueberries before I expire of hunger. Ah. Derpatory says, can I get any- also, feel free to ping me and I'll try to- if it's anything that I need to directly address. Philosophical take, understand how majority rule changes over time. I voted today and want to hear another opinion. In my opinion... Uh... 
Well, in the U- I'm- no, I don't want to say something that's hopeless. I could compare the U.S. and Europe, but I don't think I'll, I'll go there. Perhaps this will evolve into some sort of taxation shit post. I'm not entirely sure, but perhaps we'll get there. Oh, this is my favorite game in, in the game. That is to say that, in fact, there are mini games in the game. Mini games are like little games that you play with yourself because no one else will play with you. When your mom won't play with you anymore and and you're just alone in the living room, then you usually switch to a mini game. That is to say. Anyway, there is quite a lot of dismantling in this game. Um and I do rather like it. Um Okay, but here we are. We are starting to slowly expire of hunger. Uh, I'm going to eat some of this biomass. Hang on a moment. Not metal. I can't eat metal, in fact. Uh, unfortunately, cannot eat the metal in the game. Okay, but the, we're starting to get all these quests now. Repair the burnt out fuse box, build a garden bed, build a workbench. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started back here, though. Because originally when I played this game, I was trying to move out into the kind of like further territory. And it, it just, it didn't work. Uh, it wasn't really open enough. And I, I kind of messed up some of the pathing. So I'm going to go ahead back over to here. Um, like in kind of the original starting area. And let's just kind of clear out some of the wood. Okay, then if we want to start a workbench over here. We're going to need literally just one sheet of metal and four things of plastic makes a workbench, which is, uh, to be totally honest with you, that's amazing. I never thought I could do that with just the uh, constituent components uh, located at your local dump. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate this around a bit, though. Okay, blue means uh, this is an acceptable placement. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my... Unga bunga sheet metal, uh, and then we'll add in those four pieces of plastic from those four uh, Poland spring bottles that I consumed. I didn't consume the bottle this time; just the uh, just the water located therein. Ah, uh, good, an iron saw. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate something to you. Uh, is it over here? No, I need an iron saw right now. I have only the rusty. Uh, uh, what is it? Tuberculosis. Ah, uh, sorry, tetanus, not tuberculosis. I always confuse those two. Is it acceptable to say unga bunga? Of course it is. Of course, of course. Alright, let's continue with our tool crafting. We're gonna go ahead and build an iron saw over here. There we are. Hey, it's Tiny Build themselves. Hey, thank you very much for coming out to it. Honestly, uh, now that I recall, perhaps I was getting flashbacks to Breaking Bad because of our cartel tycoon. I mean, vegetable growing simulator tycoon, of course, is what I meant to say from a couple years back. Actually, that was a very fun one to do. I, I, <laughs> I kept referring to everything as vegetables, which, of course... Uh, they weren't just any vegetables. But yeah, it was a good time. Perhaps that was why I was getting flashbacks to Breaking Bad here. I got a moment. Guys, do I sound like more deep and gruff? Perhaps I should do all of the video recording it with this type of voice. Alright, well it's time to build a garden bed. Uh, I do have a... Now, a, a garden bed is actually a misleading term. It was created by politicians to confuse you. Uh, and uh, it's not actually a place where a plant goes to sleep, because plants don't ever actually sleep, as it turns out. I know that they're living. However, uh, this was news to me that they don't actually sleep. So just don't get confused on that, because I, I want you to grow up right. You know, I don't want you to be confused as you find your path. Let's go ahead and keep dismantling everything, though. Um, after all, that is what much of this game is about. Continuously dismantling. Here we are. Okay, so we've got plant statuses. Um, okay, so as I said, the farm must grow. Before we can access the automation, we must first taste the dirt. Uh, and once we have tasted the rough grains of 
uh, soil, we can then learn the power of leverage in automation. Parachon, thank you very much for the 10 pounds. First time a cottage stream in months. Have I heard of Dead Poly? It's like a 3D project soundboard. Fancy update coming soon. Seems, seems like my sort of game. Uh, no, but I will write that down. Dead Poly. Thank you very much. Like, one L, not like Dead Polly, like a, a woman named Polly. Mr. Banus. <laughs> Mr. Benus. <laughs> That's a funny name. Thank you very much for the five euros. Hashtag Ungabunga. Alright, it is time to grow a seed. I must seed the dirt. There we go. Okay, now we have only ten more minutes until the bright flower is completed in its growth. Uh, all that being said, uh, now we do need to get ready for some water. I'm going to go ahead and examine... Uh, am I going to have to dismantle... Yes, I will actually dismantle the fireplace. Not fireplace. Um, campfire. Well, campfire kind of makes it sound like, like you know, you and me are going to like do arts and crafts at summer camp. So maybe... Maybe not like a campfire, maybe like a... Well, it's like a more primitive term for a campfire. Um... Like a... Like a hot rod, no. Um... Yeah, something other than that. Alright, fresh water bottle. Okay, here was... This was the real... It had taken me a little while to figure out- Okay, so the drinking water bottle was a far more advanced maneuver. No, okay, we should be able to do this with mere wood. A burning sticks, thank you. A fire pit, yes, something that sounds more like, uh, return to monkey. Thank you, thank you. Ever played Oxygen Not Included as well? No, uh, I have, but it's been a while. Were you reminded of by the kind of like cutesy genre that we are experiencing here? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oh, I'm gonna get a little ahead of myself. And before I repair that, hang on a second. What do I need for the burnt out fuse box? Oh, I will need an electrical circuit and also a transformer, which I can craft. Uh, this next area is going to be important because I'll unlock something that allows me to go to different areas and trade. You can kind of like take a, a drone from rooftop to rooftop here. However, all that being said, uh, there is more, there is more, like, in terms of resources that we're going to need if we want to explore further. Okay, so we could experience the mysteries of fishing, or we could fill our bottles with salt water. Uh, here we go, I will desalinate all of the water, here we are, let's go up again. Okay, so we will use the elevator. I'm feeling much better today, thank you very much. I wanted to actually, like, seize on the opportunity when I was a little bit under the weather to sound deeper voiced and cooler. D guys, does my- it honestly makes me a little bit insecure, though. Like, why doesn't my voice always sound this cool? Oh, wait a second. Did I not collect the water? Oh, no, I, I apologize for that. Oh, I- I merely collected the bucket of water. Drink the salt. What are you, madman? Oh, here we go. Okay, bucket of fresh water. Even more ideal for watering my... I was going to say crops, but then I, I realized that I just meant to say singular crop. I do sound cooler. See, if only I sounded cooler more of the time, then I would have... Uh, I wouldn't be able to make better videos. Like I sounded like a more gruff, manly man, you know? I always thought that I sounded like a confused wizard. Like a confused and maybe somewhat, um... Like a wizard that doesn't really know what he's doing. Like, I, I, always, <laughs> I always thought that's what my voice sounded like. Oh well. Because people will come out to these streams. Where's AA at? AA. Winky face. It's like they're coming on to me over the internet. I don't even have an OnlyFans, but you have seen the pictures of my toes that I sent to you last year. Alright, let's continue on with our glorious adventure of n I don't have a hand! 
Ah, uh, wait a minute, I just realized that I don't have a... I was kind of wondering that. I guess that the main character of this game has sort of like a Anakin Skywalker deep lore backstory in that he's missing one of his hands. I must throw myself into the fire. I do have the high ground, though. And I do look somewhat like you and McGre McGregor. Like, in terms of hair color? At least the default version. There I was. Her suit with hairs emerging from all of the follicles on my head. Unfortunately, now there are no more. Alright, let's go ahead and build a transformer and actually play the game. Go into the fire or I'll burn my toes. Now there's something like elemental and... Hang on a second. It requires water. Do you think that the plants will mind that we used a bucket to grow them? No, I think that should be fine. Um, hmm, let's see. Okay, the food need is dropping, although I am growing a flower that I'll be able to eat in good time, so I should... Survival is in the cards. Uh, I'm gonna try not to eat all of my vegetation. Mm, but yeah, there we are. Uh, yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, Inspector Gadget is honestly not a bad... Comparison right here. Na 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 na. Inspector, Ga man, Inspector Gadget was like, <sighs> that was like my game as a kid, you know. I mean, it wasn't a game. All right, I will, I will say, it. Inspector Gadget was my, was my vibe. Uh, what is it? Vi I'm trying not to say. Uh, I'm trying not to get demonetized. Sometimes they come up with things. It was my shit. Okay, there you go, chat. Inspector Gadget. I enjoyed the fact that Inspector Gadget had, like, all of the tools that he needed at his disposal right on his person that he needed not refer to an external storage, but that Inspector Gadget was, like, self-reliant in that way. Hang on a second. I forgot that I get hurt when I pick these things up. Uh, now, these things will try to eat my crops. Have they already eaten my crops and- Oh, the infected weeds destroyed my crops. That is rather sad. Oh, the endless quest of the Florida man to grow a flower continues. <laughs> Honestly, that is the way that it is in Florida. It is quite sad and bad, so... Um, kind of an accurate treatment that we're getting here. Anyway, I'm gonna go head back to the workbench right here for a second. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so if we want a transformer, we're going to go ahead and need some electrical cables. So, uh, you can create electrical cables from plastic and just scrap metal if you use your mind. So make a lot of that, and then we'll get some transformers ready. And now, all of a sudden, wowzers. Uh, if I just put this solvent, I mean lubricant on the ground. <laughs> lubricant. Uh... Right, we're going to go ahead and put that lubricant on the <laughs> lubricant on the ground, and there we are. Now we'll put the transformers in there, and now the box has been repaired. Now this is actually fantastic because there is like a dead robot up here. I'm just going to bypass this gentleman's. He is honestly kind of a sad robot, but as I mentioned, the story doesn't matter. Oh wait a minute, I accidentally gave him the wrong conversation option. Oh, I will kind of want to emphasize the crafting here for my own sake. An unpressurized injector. I'm sure that has nothing to do with uh, s a syringe usage of uh, conscience-altering substances. <laughs> Don't at Wait a minute. What is this? Programmable robots. Uh, okay, so then this doohickey here. This is a sp uh, whoops, that is the smart tower. Okay, this is like the beacon that can be used to use this drone, which can get me to other places in the game. And when you go to other places, you're then able to gather more crap from other rooftops. This is useful. You ask why? Uh, so that you can build up more things so that you can get more automation going on your main base. So I'm gonna go ahead back here and just go back to our original area. Now, I am told that I should be building a minion. Uh, it may be a little while before I can build an actual minion uh, and set it off to its 
reliable tasks. Hang on a second. There is a, a pool of blue crap. Hang on a second. Maybe if I take that up. I'm going to try spraying over here. Maybe there's some sort of like... No, my bright flower is still growing. I'm just going to leave that pool of blue ooze there. Like, unwept and weltered to the parching wind. Because... Um... I don't actually know why that's there. That is a little bit jarring to me. Uh, because there is no more plant. I killed the plant. And I am now honestly a little bit worried uh, that I might not have completely killed it. <laughs> but here we are. Sheet metal. Yes, this is the automation. Honestly, Troopin, like... I am kind of of the mindset that every game needs to turn into an automation game. Including life, which is perhaps to my own detriment. I've scared off enough of my own family members, <laughs> trying to get them to carry objects. Hey, could you put these forks in the drawer for me? I need to use you for your automation capabilities. Delegation of tasks. It would really be a nightmare if I ran my own business. Imagine like a restaurant run by AA. Automation empire. You would come in, please be seated. Your seating will be automated. It would upset and confuse the customers. But maybe that would be like the desired effect. Why, after all, should we feel happy at all times? You know? Automate my bodily movements. My functions. Alright, now I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Hang on a second, I need to destroy these things with my Florida powers. Oh no, I have lost my insect spray. This is an actual problem that I have in real life now. <laughs> Guys, I'm like the king of killing wasps. <laughs> there are so many bugs in Florida. Why did I move here? Uh, <laughs> uh, of course I am kidding. I love, I love it here. I do actually like it quite a lot. Uh, although there are a lot of bugs. I discovered a roach yesterday. <laughs> and they're enormous. Oh my god. Uh, the best kind of farming relies on automating. Ooh, well, can I tell you something very exciting? Now, I mean, after all, I'm gonna go ahead and say something about intelligent game design. In the absence of a goal, because after all, there- Oh, here are my minions! Hang on a second, it'll be a while before I can make minions, because I need one of these things, which is like a- a core. They have very good core strength. Uh, and when you have good core strength, then you are, of course, able to... ...complete menial tasks of labor for a bald man on a roof with a cool beard and glasses who looks kind of like a Giga Chad. Um, guys, I'm not losing my hair, but if I did... Actually, it would be rather unfortunate if I did, because I can't grow a full beard, so I would just be completely hairless. Or I could grow a neck beard. Perhaps I'll grow a neck beard if that should happen. If that should pass. I think that would be cool. I think that he's... Perhaps the explanation around that is that he's more evolved than the rest of us. Robot-shaped. Now I need the soul of an innocent. Oh yes, I will have to extract the programmable core. How could I be so, uh... How could I be so forgetful? Of course, every robot contains the soul of a child. I mean... <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> yes, your vacuum. <laughs> they extracted the soul of a child. In order to create it. Oh my god. Oh, this is new. Oh, wait a minute. No, I actually, I just did not read this when I first played. I apologize for that. Oh, uh, double click. Okay, was it double clicking? Yes, okay, then the, the right clicking I did not. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an inventory for, like, vegetation. And any type of organic matter. Um, as well as seeds we can store in here. Uh... And let's go ahead and put in metal and plastic into our other storage. And then we will put, like, advanced robot items that contain the souls of children, uh, of course, into these other ones. Here we go, and some solvent! I mean, there we go. Uh, um, okay, we'll put the fertilizer in there. Paper. 
storage. This will contain more of my paper metal pipes, although that is more of like a processed item. Hmm. My voice sounds different. Oh, that's because I just got over a cold. Everyone thinks that it sounds cooler, though, so I, if I start to talk in my normal high voice, then everyone gets upset. No, just imagine that I sound this cool all of the time. Actually, true story, uh, this happened to a friend of mine. She has, like, a kind of a normal voice most of the time. Although when she got sick, her voice sounded, like, very deep and, like, sensual. <laughs> And we were just saying, we were like, oh god, you should record, like, one of those hotline voice messages. She's like, hey, baby. I was just like, oh, wow. I'm really impressed at the sound of your voice now. Apparently, it also happens with me, although I don't think people would like to call a hotline to hear me talk about uh, stealing the souls of children. Uh, that would probably be uh, frowned upon. How do you get your kicks? Well, I usually just call the deep-voiced AA hotline. Hang on a moment. Let's go ahead and take out some of this plastic, which I require. It makes me sound cooler. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use a voice changer. God, you guys are making me feel so bad about the normal sound of my voice. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's okay. I'm used to it. Here we go. Now I have plenty of bug spray with which to uh, ward off the demons of Florida. All right, hang on a second. These things do keep like reappearing quite often, and they're basically the only enemy in the game. Although I don't. Oh no, I cannot. The dark fire will not avail you. Sorry, I've been spending the last three weeks watching Lord of the Rings on repeat. Everything that comes to mind is just a Gandalf quote. All right, we're going to continue grabbing all of the... It's sort of like real life. It has that aspect. Any good game should. In that there is this constant, like, threat of entropy that you're always fighting. Hang on a moment. Uh, so I now have slime. Uh, I do require food, though. I have zero... Yeah, I, I am going to start to lose health sooner or later if I don't take care of that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just grab more leaves and eat the leaves, uh, because that is obviously the best thing that I can do for myself. Um, hang on a second. Let me just put away more of my organic matter. Uh, the leech tails I don't really have much use for. But I will grab the leaves, and here we go. I'm going to eat them. Let's just consume the rest of it, because I completely have to take back what I said before. Proof of my wizardry. You're a wizard, Harry. Have I been eavesdropping? I'm not trying to rob you! <laughs> oh, I thought you said that I... No, I, of course, do not sound like Gandalf, unfortunately. Ah, right, here we go. Okay, so more leaves to eat. After all, <laughs> this, is a, this is a common occurrence. As a Florida man, whenever I see a bush, I see not a bush, but a meal in the future. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the smart tower. I'm going to have to catch a fish as well. Uh, actually, come to think of it, catching fish would probably be a more, uh, like, reliable source of food for your boy. So let's go ahead and grab a fish. Um, but only a after we've massacred all of the local weeds. Okay, so I will just cut down the metal over here. Uh, here we go. We will pick this up and take that. Uh, no, I'm going to need to throw all of my paper on the ground. Oh, yum! Another bush! Oh, yes, I forgot about this. There is also, like, a liquid that you can remove from these plants. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you can hear it in the... Although the cough is breaking up now. You can hear the health returning to me. The will to consume insects and leaves is returning to my... Uh, to my soul, I don't know. Oh, I found another tool! Yes, this is great. Okay, so the tempered drill... Uh, what is life? 
Nothing more than a series of quests in which you acquire more tools to dismantle the things around you. After all. Hang on a second, this is objectively gross. Oh, this is my favorite minigame! I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble a microwave. And they call it a microwave. I sound like Harmony. Everyone's having this debate. AA sounds like, uh, Hagrid. Uh, you're a wizard, Harry. No, I don't know. Insert your deeper voice version of whoever I am here. It is the meme of the hour. Ah, uh, I am I have lost the screws. Here we are. Now, this is extremely satisfying. Honestly, this minigame might be more satisfying than perhaps... Have you ever been with your mom when you were a kid? Like, you got dragged to, like, the women's hairdresser because she had to get more stuff done. And, uh, they had you get your hair cut, too. And you had to put your hair back, but they washed your hair. And you found that it was very satisfying to have your hair and head handled by a middle-aged woman who takes care of people's hair. Hang on a second, where is the last component of this? Oh, there we are, the last piece of this. This minigame might be at that level of satisfying. Now we will take that, although a lot of it will be left on the ground. Uh, and fortunately we are finding more, like, usable materials over here, so we can use this to start to uh, get our, like, transportation mode going. Green Joker, thank you very much for the 20 kronas. Ah, Sweden, representing Sweden, land I love. I do like Sweden, I hope you're having a good time over there. Minor spoilers, you can catch fish with leech shells. Ooh, actually there is one fishing thing that I wanted to show you about this game, because there is a rather good mini game in the background. Um, although I did not know the leech tails bit, I'm going to leave the ink pigments in there, but thank you for saying that. Um, I'm going to put these blueberry seeds with their brethren. Uh, although now my storage is just getting horribly disorganized, so I'm going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and go into fish man mode. Which is the other mode of being as a Florida man that I can enter. Uh, there is one other thing. I want to say it's a worm, although I find that it is- Ooh, blueberries! I am so easily distracted. Uh, there we are. Okay, good. She wasn't middle-aged, she was my girlfriend. Haha. <laughs> yes, I, I go exclusively to the hair salon. Ah, uh, as it happens, I still like this hair salon, and I would go back any time. I love my, spending my time with the ladies at the hair salon. Don't you judge me for enjoying it. Alright, this minigame is extremely simple, although perhaps one of the most satisfying endeavors I have ever experienced in the last decade. Perhaps more satisfying even than, for example, Tiny Wings. Or what was that other game? Um, the, the game with the birds that were very upset. Angry Birds. Something like along those lines. I would, no, nah, more emphasis on Tiny Wings. Or perhaps that bird that had flapped. Frequent. Flap, flapping bird. Flappy bird. was. Oh no, I accidentally fished without bait. I, I'm, I've been smackled or I have caught some interesting plastic. Considering that this is a stagnant body of water, it's rather impressive that he's catching all of this, like, <laughs> material. <laughs> How is he bringing it up? <laughs> Even the line appears to be so thin. <laughs> Although all that being said, I have now acquired clams, and I increase. I'm gonna go ahead and put the leech tails on this, because I didn't even know that this was a thing. Okay, now a more challenging fishing game. Oh my gosh. Observe the narrowness of these fleeting opportunities. A black bidus, a small dark fish with surprisingly large- I didn't even get a chance to finish reading it. I'll have to catch another one in order to read the rest. Hang on a moment. Alright. <laughs> My stress levels are really high. Yay. Uh, large fins that I've had its feathers, it could fly. Oh my gosh, wow. <sighs> Maybe it is perhaps a Tiny Wings reference. Do you guys remember Tiny Wings? It was a great Yay. game. I love Tiny Wings. Alright, let's put the earthworms 
There. Do you guys think that it, if there are earthworms, there are also skyworms? Do you think those are like dragons? A large bug-eyed. They say fish can't be very well because of their huge air bubbles. Hopefully if you can see your bait. Okay, there we go. I did get through the entire blurb of text. All right, now, you ask yourself, sitting at home on your couch eating Cheetos, why is AA... Yay. Uh... What was I going to say? Fishing. Why am I fishing, of course? Well... Sorry, I, just, I imagine everyone in my live stream audience is um, somebody sitting on their couch eating Cheetos. It's not a very nice way to think of you all as a group of people, although it entertains me to think that you're all eating Cheetos and you all have eternal Cheeto fingers. <laughs> Honestly, like, I have no shame when I watch YouTube, I'm eating... It's not Cheetos, but it's, uh... It's basically the the Trader Joe's equivalent of Takis. Now I'm going to share with you a story. Back when I used to be a teacher, um, my kids wanted to see if I would, like, be okay. If I would survive eating a Taki. You know Takis, the snack? Um, they were, they wanted me to, like, suffer, uh, because <laughs> they thought it would be too hot for me, because you know, thinking that I, as the teacher, was, like, asserting the rules on them, that I was the man. Although they... They baited me with that. I took the bait because I wanted to... It was the end of the year and I was feeling like, you know, I should do something kind of cool. One of the 8th graders asked me if I, like, had any hobbies. He found out that I was into skateboarding and he thought that was very cool. Yes, the teacher's stories are very fun. Actually, that was one of the more cute ones. <laughs> there, there were also the headache ones. Yay. Ah. One time, one, there was a time when a boy wrote the B word on the bathroom door. Uh, and then he reported it to me, and I'm pretty sure that the kid who told me that somebody wrote the B word on the bathroom door was the person who wrote the B word on <laughs> when I had no way of, like, figuring it out. Uh, they didn't really fight that battle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yes, those were pretty good stories. Can I do a kickflip? No. No, I could do a pop shove it. But that's not very cool. Yeah. I couldn't do a 360 flip. That was really where I went wrong. Licked the moth! Thank you very much for the channel membership. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, my friend. I'll admit I've been a little yeah. bit off with, like, all of the channel perks and stuff like that. Pretty off, not gonna lie. So I do appreciate the support. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. I've just been, like, yeah. a little bit beside myself lately. But like I said, got sick for a few weeks. Happy to be back. This is a nice way to do it. God, I really miss streaming on YouTube with you guys. Sus moment, self-report. It wasn't that... I mean, like, you know, like, teacher things aside. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher things aside, it's kind of, that was kind of a funny prank. <laughs> I mean, it, there was nothing funny about it at the time. That's probably the hard part about teaching is... Oh, here we go. Next mini game. Alright, so you need to prevent the tempered drill from overheating. So you go ahead and make sure that you don't... Because <laughs> it would be a disaster. Your hand might explode if you allowed that to happen. I'd been away. Lots of stuff planned for the next month, though. Well, fortunately, it gave me some time to get some stuff ready. But yeah, no, I missed it. It was like the OG crowd here on YouTube. Reminded me of the good old days. Imagine if your teacher was AA. I wasn't really my normal self, though. That's the one thing that I found really hard about teaching middle school. It's like nothing is allowed to be funny. Like, when you're teaching high school, you can have a sense of humor. Like, and be yourself around your kids, but when you're teaching middle school, it's like nothing is allowed to be funny ever. And if it is, they just kind of run a mile with it. Ooh, another dismantling minigame. Uh, hang on a moment. More vegetation. Ah, uh, more leaves that I can devour. Yeah. 
Ah, no, they've pooped on my roof again. What will I ever do? Uh, okay, so I'm going to be fixing the smart tower and then building a minion. Now, if we want to get the minion, we have to fix up the smart tower first. So we've done a lot of fishing. Uh, we have solved some of our food needs in the at least the sh longer term. Sh longer term. I meant longer term, not sh longer term, of course. Uh, all right, now we need a matrix transformer and a light bulb. I do believe that we can find more matrices elsewhere. Um, yes, that is the plural of matrix. Get at me, bro. Um, okay, I should be able to cut more planks from this because I want to acquire and devour the lettuce over there. Lettuce is greater for sustenance than the leaves I have been consuming. Romaine, after all, has always been mankind's primary form of nutrition. I do love a good romaine lettuce salad. It's not the coolest thing that I do. Alright, now we are going to need like a steel saw if we want to get through this part. So we're going to need to get some more, uh, like tools and assembly materials if we want to get to that part. Uh, although we're going to need to do that, I believe, at the workbench. So we have the small storage, the minion. Uh, let's go ahead back over here. We are just kind of filtering by type. That doesn't really make a difference. Oh, we haven't discovered all of the materials. Ooh, plexiglass. Oh, I seem to have some of these materials already discovered from my last playthrough. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, that is very nice. Okay, but let's focus on the smart tower right now. We need light bulbs and transformers and matrices. So let's go back to our workbench and see if we can craft some of that. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as cooking our fish. <coughs> no, we will put that aside. Uh, hmm. Okay, my lettuce. There is also a bridge that I can construct to the next rooftop. Although, I mean, that is kind of a crazy endeavor to embark upon. Yes, after all, all roads lead to Romaine. <laughs> Didn't realize the game was called I Am Future. I thought you were declaring yourself as the future. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. Um, no, I, I am not going to try to create some sort of existential, like, <laughs> like, ultimatum against the universe in my video title. I am, hey everyone, I'm streaming this game. By the way, I am the past. Uh, I mean, what a quirky thing it would have been to do that. All, although, I, I don't think that would have, uh gone over well with the government or the IRS. Okay, we have some caviar here. Can I just eat direct? No, I don't seem to be able to eat directly out of the out of the fire. <laughs> oh, what a delicious looking campfire you've created there. Let me just stick my face into it. Oh my god, it's so hot. I do believe, can you um can you put in the filet? Let's put in filet and another filet. Can we do that? No, we can't do that. Uh, the fish oil I do want to save. Let's try cooking it with a flour. Strange substance. Oh, try something else. Okay, I am instructed to try something else before I kill myself. Uh, I think I'm just going to directly eat these raw filet. That I should be totally fine from doing that. Uh, let's see what else. I am human. Yeah. Let's see what this is there. Okay, I'm going to overheat my... Ah! Oh, man, I can't even yell anymore. I haven't tried my characteristic goofy yell. Ooh, I have acquired a hard hat. No, I don't think I need to put it on. I will just expose my glorious shining head to the universe. Ah... Uh. Hmm. I forget what I was going to say. Hmm. Yeah, it's like that sensation when you think that there's another step there when you forget what you were going to say. Hmm. Minions. Library. No. Hmm. Uh, should I consume more flowers or should I sleep? <laughs> Why are these... <laughs> These are like the hobo level questions. I love how I just find myself rationalizing all of the dumb choices that I have. To <coughs> Excuse me. 
Man, I'm actually starting to feel... I know I don't sound particularly healthy, but I was, like, basically death for, like, the last two days. <laughs> so I'm feeling much better now. Find it strange that the portrait in the bottom and left has hair. Ah, that was my former... That was my former hair. Wasn't it glorious? And it's to show you, like, how noble and mature I have become now that my hair has been lost. Um, hang on a second. Fix the smart tower. Build a minion. Although I do... Yeah, that does seem slightly odd. Um, build a minion. Fix the smart tower. Okay, so we still have to go... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and craft those other items. Now, the smart tower, I may actually... Should I bring it down here? Nah, I'll just leave it over there. Um, reinforced cybernetic hand could be useful. Good quality rod. Although I have not yet found this strong fishing line. I will need a steel disc, which I believe... Yeah, I need to go to Agatha's store if I want to get that. Which is located, uh, somewhere else. The Matrix. I need... To, oh, yes, I need to upgrade the workbench. So if we want to upgrade the structure, we need... Memory modules, transformers, and nails. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and see. We can make some of that right here, so let's get some transformers. Uh... It would be kind of cool if you could... Construct from, like, more... I don't know how to say this, like, minuscule components. Let's go ahead. We've already got one of the transformers. We just need four nails and one more transformer, so let's make one more of those. And then let's get nails. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we can take those. Can we take... No, but we should be able to put those right back in. Oh, no. Those need to go back into my inventory. Give me a second. Although the memory module, I do believe we need to go find somewhere else. Well, otherwise, we'll just kind of continue, like, canvassing about for materials. Let's go grab those. Now we can go back to upgrade the structure. Okay, sources. Uh, the roof or Agatha's stores. Now, you do get, like, kind of a blurb on where things are. So, if you ever get lost, which there are quite a lot of items in this game, and I will admit that that was very helpful. Because there were a couple of times when I was learning the game where I was like, Ah, oh, where do I go ahead and find that? I have no idea where to go next. I am confusion. Uh, and it and it was quite overwhelming, and I was afraid. There we go. Pull up the roots. Now, is there anything like secret? Like secret boy back here? Ah, uh, unfortunately, no. There is nothing secret boy back here. Alright, whatever. Uh, you can repair this entire bridge, which is actually kind of impressive. You can make your entire way, or make your whole way across to the other side of it. Uh, I may not be doing that right now because there are plenty of other materials I need. Although it is a very satisfying thing to watch, so I'm somewhat debating on whether I should show it to you just because I like the way it looks. Uh, maybe I will, if you're good. If you guys are really good, then maybe I'll show it to you at the end of the stream. Love the videos and channel. Hey, X3M, thank you very much for the very kind words. Looks like The Sims survival. I uh, kind of, yeah, getting like a Sims 2 castaway vibe from that. Been a while since I went there. Hang on a second. I am now full of fear. Is the blue ooze like permanently there? I may need to dismantle this. Um... Hmm. Let me just destroy it. Ah, uh, I will get a somewhat of a refund. Yes, let me take this away from here. I'm sorry, I had to destroy you. Uh, hmm. Guarding. Okay, let's go ahead and rebuild this over here. Fortunately, you do get the full refund. I just want to get that away. I don't know why I had that blue ooze remaining there. Although, <coughs> excuse me, that was the problem with which I was left. These were the hard times I lived in. Right, let's attempt number two. Uh, I do want to grow lettuce, if that is possible. Or blueberries might not be bad there. Yes, okay, I will put the blueberries down. All right, I have 14 minutes until the blueberries will require my attention. I will leave them for now. Although they do grow in the wild. Let's leave this. Oh, I can grow even more on my farm too. Ah, let's not just stop there. Why just stop there? Now I'm starting to sound like an infomercial. Maybe for like diabetes. 
Hang on a second. I know who has diabetes. <sighs> Just kidding, I actually don't know who has diabetes. Please get yourself checked by seeing a doctor. Um, okay, so here we go, we have blueberry seeds. Oh my gosh, wow, two things are growing like automation. The blueberries are like employees that I hire to be eaten by me. And then you kind of get that sense when you begin some farming. Here we are. Good, good. Get them away. Getting, uh, getting some, like, Fortnite vibes. Yeah, actually, I do kind of get that Fortnite look on the graphics. Not gonna lie, I do kind of... I... Okay, I really liked Fortnite back in... 2018. I really liked it back then. It's still probably really good. <laughs> no, it's just a kid's game. <laughs> I don't like it. I definitely don't like it. No, I think it's a good game. I spent $100 on Fortnite skins. Did I just eat a raw steak? Actually, it was a fish fillet. But you're right. I mean, it was sort of like a raw steak. Um, let's see. Well, we've got to go ahead and build some of the transformers and stuff like that. We're going to need a memory module, but I think if we want to do that, we're going to need more matrix stuff. Let's go ahead and talk to the robot man. He does... Oh, I forgot that he has a drinking water bottle. Yes, just... I will take liquids out of you. Uh, I am going to just skip through... Whoops. I'm going to skip through his dialogue. Oh, wait, does he have anything useful? I'm not actually going to read it. I apologize. Oh, he actually does give me some use. You have proven your worth, machine. Uh, go back to being cold and metal. Uh, and <coughs> soulless. Oh, wait, I forgot that he contains the soul of a child. <laughs> we'll get you out of there. <laughs> I love the deep lore that emerges when we create a live stream. You people are all out of your minds. Oh my god, yes, tell me more about the souls of robots. <laughs> uh, okay, good. I have more than enough Transformers. Um, the memory module we could get from Agatha's store. Let's go ahead and... Excuse me. Oh yeah, there is a little bit more dismantling to be done here. Oh, some of these larger machines actually do contain rather useful items here. Okay, great. So I got two light bulbs here. Uh, and I think I had some Transformers from before. So I will bring those back up to the smart tower. We should be, like, dismantling anything that looks rather advanced, like this. Yes, Fortnite has changed. I think they got rid of building. There was quite a lot. Okay, I'm going to... Ooh, does he contain the... Ah, uh, yes! Okay, good. Thank God. I actually had forgotten where I had located that, so that is good. Okay, the memory module. Um... Unfortunate. Okay, so we can get the light bulbs in there. We can put the transformers in there. Oh, we still need a matrix for this thing. Although the mem. Ooh, and then another module. I believe we can use this for another backpack part. Uh, where is the backpack module? This is good because I've been carrying a lot. Just honestly, a lot of crap in my inventory, and I need somewhere for it. I'm hallucinating. The technocracy of children. Haven't you guys ever played cyberpunk? Don't you know how it starts? After the Great War, when the children turned on the adults, then... No. Wasn't that basically Codename Kid Next Door, though? You guys remember Codename Kids Next Door? I always thought, like, I was extra important for watching Codename Kids Next Door. Remember that cartoon that was out back when we were kids? Mom, are we going to be at home on time for me to see Codename Kids Next Door on TV when I get home? This was uh, an item of great import as a child. One second, I will build another. Ah, yes. I can finally upgrade the structure. You. All right, there we go. So now I have enough to make. Ah, this upgraded structure is now capable of crafting uh, light bulbs and matrices. Here we go, I have another one of those. Uh, I believe I'm still going to need more of those, though, then this will allow me to craft the other thing that I had had before. I need more plastic. I require plastic. 
Ah, fortunately, I have 32 plastics. Yeah, uh, what was I originally? Uh, it's so much crafting, though, that sometimes I honestly forget who I am. Although, don't be fooled, I am exploding with cle with pleasure. What is pleasure? With pleasure at the crafting. Don't remind me of how old I am. Isn't it odd now that I refer back to old things? Well, I'll give you a quick story. Story time. Back when I used to be a teacher, the children actually knew references to Spongebob, and they even liked it. Ah, another backpack module. I continue to increase. Yeah, I was getting like this odd nostalgia. You ever get sick and then you get like oddly nostalgic? Like, you think back on all the stuff from your past, like, man, if this is it, if this is where I die from here on out, would it all have been worth it? You know, and like, you think back on your past and the way things were going. That's how I got. I started to think back about all the stuff I liked as a kid. I was really into, like, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I got into, like, what was it? Like, miniature wargaming. It was the oddest thing. Looking back at, like, all the Warhammer stuff. Uh, Heroescape, oddly enough. You guys remember the game Heroescape? It's such a fun game. I was, like, looking at this stuff. I don't know, it was just getting me oddly nostalgic. Anyway, I'm trying to remember how this relates to that. Uh, great segue. There is no segue. Anyway, okay, we have another microchip to locate. Now, we need this if we want to go to other roofs. Yes! Believe it or not, there are actually other roofs out there somewhere for us to find. Uh, although I do need another plastic bottle. You can craft a bottle if you just shape plastic into its shape somehow in your inventory. <laughs> don't ask me how that one works, but yes, that is a thing. The microchip, I don't believe that we can actually craft. We do need to locate that somewhere. So we're going to need to look around for his very advanced computers. <coughs> now, you can trade with the robot. He's not just there to remind you that he contains the soul of a child. Uh, I do believe though that the microchip is somewhere over yonder. No, not there. Uh, I know how to extract more liquid from the evil plants. There we go. I have increased... No, here we go. We will cut the planks. Pick up that crap. Uh, sorry, I keep calling everything crap. It's not honestly very respectful, but it's, you know, it's true. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, a very advanced microwave. Ah, uh, this is my favorite moment. Or mini game, rather. Almost as, it makes me almost as happy as Angry Flapping Bird, the game. I unfortunately didn't have enough money to play the real games, so I played only Flapping Angry Bird. <coughs> we played Mad Birds and Flapping Bird. Flapping Avian Animal. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm just being an idiot now. Wait, how now? Why am I unable to open that? Oh no, how will I get the light bulb out of the front? There must be something else I have to do. 28 out of 32. What else am I still missing? Oh god. I'm actually getting some anxiety now. Oh, it's fine. I got the microchip anyway. Hmm. Yeah, the number is rising rapid. What have I missed here, though? Oh, there we are. I missed one of these things. Oh, that allows me to then... Oh, I have to take off the door. Oh my god, what kind of barbarian would take the door off of a microwave? Uh, that should give me enough for another matrix. Okay, here we go. So that's going to give me enough materials that I can then complete the smart tower. And then we move on to... Yes, that's right. The next phase of the game. Alright, uh, fortunately they have not devoured my crops. I have not really been doing a very good job babysitting my crops over here. Okay, good. I now have enough for another, uh, uh, matrix. 
Here we go. Okay, so the next phase of the game is sort of like, there's all of this other stuff that we need to get out of the way, so we need a steel saw if we want to get rid of that. So, oh my god, no, they did finish it. I thought that they were. Uh, I already know what this does. Never mind, uh, dangerous software. Okay, drone control. Yeah, really the drone control is what we need. Okay, so we could do an expedition. Oh yeah, there's also upgrade modules. Okay, so these are the types of things that you'll be able to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get up to this, but like, actually have the Autobots, if I may borrow the Transformers reference. Autobots. I mean, automation robots. Autobots. Unfortunately, I think they already took the term Autobots. Maybe that's inaccurate here. Never mind. Uh, upgrading. Oh, actually, we will be able to do some more upgrading for the Snore Tower. That will allow us to move to further regions. Although I cannot go out because it is night right now. It's sort of like an I Am Legend kind of vibe about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, unfortunately, I cannot go out because it is night, and I am horribly afraid of the dark. Um, although I could just go back and sleep. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's just wait for day. There is an easy way to b bypass day and night. Guys, there's this amazing thing called sleep. And when you go to sleep, it's like time just goes by instantaneously, and then it's the next day. Just basically out of nowhere. Everything's black, and then when you come back to consciousness, everything has changed, and more events have transpired. I just discovered it the other day. I thought that I was dying and being reincarnated continuously over and over and over again for the last 20 years, but someone explained it to me, and it's actually a, quite a natural phenomenon called sleep. Um, and you do it every day. I thought I just had a disorder, a very rare disorder. <laughs> But as it turns out, I'm totally fine and healthy, so that is fortunate. But if you have this, you guys ever think that when you go to sleep, it's like you die? I don't want to get all morbid on you. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to go to sleep now that I know what it is. Um, ooh, I can make an oil can, too. I'm also just going to make a bunch of these because they are quite useful. Six. Uh, oil cans are useful in, like, everything that we do. Uh, only after I eat these flowers. Hang on a moment. Uh, yeah, I'll take the flowers. The flowers are honestly somewhat useful themselves as well. Uh, oh no, ah, man, these plants keep growing in my... Are these plants, like, attracted to the good plants? Be gone, Satan plant! Hang on a second. I will need to regrow new blueberries because I somewhat messed that up. All right, this blue ooze has just remained here for some reason. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be messing with my crops, though. <sighs> Sleep is like real life time skipping. Do you remember when you would take your. Nintendo DS, and you would advance time so that you had more money to pay Tom Nook. That's basically what sleep is in real life. I sound different when I speak normally. No, I just have... I'm just getting over a cold. So I said... I mean, in addition to that, I'm not reading a script either. Although, yes, I do. That is true. Oh, yes! I can exchange salads for a hammer. Ah, I forgot why this was useful to me. Okay, the hammer minigame is actually rather satisfying. Uh, I do need to recall how to... Hang on a second. The hammer is quite an exciting item. Alright, I need more romaine lettuce. As well as flowers and biomass. Okay, so I'm going to need to rediscover the joys of romaine lettuce. Here. Ah. Uh, uh, don't eat the salad. There we go. Let's see if we can regrow... Uh, yeah. No, maybe not. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these things into storage. Blueberry seeds are right there. Electrical cables. Yes, salads, after all, can be exchanged for a hammer if you should need them. If you should find yourself in this sort of situation. 
Listen, I need wood. Uh, what should we name our protagonist? Chester MacArthur Arthur. Isn't that like a president or something? President Chester MacArthur Arthur. That's my name. I got a salad. Not useful for eating, but actually it's a form of currency. Used by, um, the Mayans would exchange goods in units of salads. Non-perishable. Easily divisible. And uh, a reliable unit of account, I might add. Salads were an unknown currency of ancient peoples that today are coming back into vogue as it happens. Ah, the great satisfaction of embracing my Floridian roots. Did you guys know that Floridian is actually a word? <laughs> ah, AA. Educating the, the unwashed masses on the culture and ways of Florida. <laughs> Telling, convincing people that it's a real place. And not just a figment of your imagination. Ah, I almost forgot our, uh... <coughs> Excuse me, our exploration mini game. Let me go here. I'm gonna start an expedition. This did happen to me. I I was traveling once, and someone thought that Florida wasn't a real place. So I had to go convince them that I wasn't just like a secret agent. Okay, Stan the Hoarder does have some useful items. Um, hmm. ah, the crashed airplane is actually a story event as well. I may use this. Okay, so we have a drone that is going to explore the wreckage. And this is basically what we use to like, interact with the rest of the world around us. And um, we're going to go ahead and dismantle one of these trees over here and another one over here. Don't ask me how the drone does it. Uh, okay. So there is like something in the, um, in the cockpit of the plane, I want to say. They'd been here before. Uh, more ruins of an ancient civilization. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, was it here? It's all like how society had come to be destroyed. And so on and so forth. Oh, like Unicorn Corp. <laughs> oh, here it was. Nope. Um, can't get to, into the cockpit without the axe biscuit. Yeah, here we go. My boys, my androids knew the right digits. Tried to find them if they're still alive. Okay. Uh, so we do have half the code over here. Uh, one nine. So we have something dot 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 one nine. So I believe it's a four digit code. And it's found on the, like, plane tickets out here. I don't believe it's out there. I actually believe we have to go back out onto the plane's side. Was it here? Unicorp is delighted to know that they have concluded the final trials of technology to digitize consciousness. Honestly, you've got a f pretty solid underbacking here for the deep lore where they have, like digitized children's souls in order to put them into robots. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on a second. Uh, I don't believe it was over there though. I think it was on the wing, I want to say? Plane ticket with silver wings on it. Does it? No, this doesn't have the first two digits on it, does it? No. Where else was it? It was... I can't remember now. I want to say it was over here. Let me just go ahead and double check this thing. Emergency landing in Cosmopolis. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there there it was. Hang on a second. What did I miss? 2619. Okay. That is the code of the cockpit. 2619, 2619. Do you guys have that thing where in order to remember a string of digits, you need to just keep repeating it to yourself over and over again, obnoxiously? 2619, 2619. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I have discovered... Oh, I actually got a little achievement for that. I have discovered a lady robot in order to, like, uh, mate with the other robot. Yes, you. Okay, this is like a jukebox lady robot, and she's very curvy and cute. And she can be, uh, transported back to our uh, our bachelor pad. 
uh, to get it on with the uh, other robot. At least I haven't seen that, but I, I hear that's rumored for the... No, of course I'm kidding. But if they are making any future DLCs of, like, robot mating... You know. Just saying. Ah, excuse me. Sorry, just gotta blow my nose for one second. She's built like my ex. Is that a- I'm trying to tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I've actually gotten to the point where the cold is breaking up. Okay. Uh... Large and curvy woman! Where shall I put you? Okay, you can move characters around the roof to select the character you want to move. Uh, it's like the characters tab in the construction menu. Okay, yes, this is an important part. Okay, so I'm going to take her and put this big woman. She is like a... Wait, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to recall why I think this robot is like a... Like an anthropomorphosed machine version of like a very large and curvy woman. I don't know why. Maybe because she just... Uh, the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. I'm not sure if I can get out of this one or if I've just created a meme that's going to lead to my own demise. Why won't you fit next to this skinny fridge man? Hang on a second. I put her over here. Oh, actually, I just realized I'm going to move her slightly somewhere else. I'm going to put you somewhere far away where I will, like, make somewhat of contact with you. Only because her humming starts to kind of get to me after a while. I enjoy it in tandem, although I can't experience it constantly. I do find it slightly annoying. I'm sorry. I don't really like you that much. I think that you're good and I, I like you, but I don't want to spend all of my every waking moment with you. Goodbye. I guess I probably could have put that a little bit more nicely. <laughs> oh god. Sorry, that's how I that's how I deal with women. Um It's not really very good. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great segue. <laughs> I don't have time for you. You annoy me. Oh, my God. To be fair, uh, that is how I deal with men as well. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm not biased. I just hate everyone. Uh, <laughs> how, you, how you try to get your way out of telling someone that you don't... Uh, her, her singing does kind of annoy me, I'm sorry. There, I said it. Ooh, I can plant lettuce! I prefer crops over you! Here we go. Alright. How do I intentionally destroy the- Oh, maybe if I water them with salt water. Let's see what happens. Oh no, it's not even an option to pl to water them with salt water. Never mind. Okay, let's go make some fresh water in the bucket then. Who would have thought that you could have boiled a bucket? I mean, you can't boil the bucket itself, but I think you know what I mean. Oh, cool, you actually get worms from that. I did not realize that. Relatable. Relatable. Wow, AA, way to alienate half your audience. <laughs> well, it's okay, I alienated all of them shortly thereafter. <laughs> Go ahead. Eight. Mm. Ah, number go down. That is nice. Okay, so I'm still going to need the steel saw. I'm going to need to upgrade that machine up top. Uh, there are some more components I'm going to need if I want to do that, though. I've got most of this. I'm going to need the salads. Not gonna lie, I actually, like, it is a requirement that I collect more lettuce. I am on a secret mission to collect more lettuce for the government. Um, I believe I can do that over here. 
at my fireplace, I can create a salad. Okay, that's two out of the five that I need. Uh, good, more flowers. These will go well in my salad. Ah, more leaves. Honestly, I bet you that, like, raw... Well, I wouldn't take my advice on this. I always thought that, like, the worse tasting the leaf, the better it is for you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. Mm, oh, I just need more metal frames if I want to do this. Okay, actually, I do know where to find some of these... Although I think I may need a different tool if I want to get any further with that. Um, there are like a number of items in this game where you required like a prerequisite item to get them. I'm probably going to do that. Oh yeah, I think I can use pipes to create the metal frame. It's been a minute now. Sorry, I playtested this like a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm trying to recall everything. Hey, YouTuber friend Troopin. Gonna go. Good luck with the rest of you. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good day and a good life. I prefer the direct method. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to start. I think we still have enough daylight. Now, at, what are we? T oh, 10 o'clock at night. It is rather late. Um, broken supply crate, that could be useful because it's unknown. Uh, I want to go over to Stan the Hoarder for a second. I do believe that I need, like, cryptocurrency if I want to get here. Now, the only currency that remains in the world because robots own the whole world, of course, is cryptocurrency. So if we want to get a programmable core, we do need 250 U coins, uh, which is sort of like the goofy cryptocurrency that remains. The drill bits are here, too. Uh, we have 70. Um, I believe we're going to need another machine, though, that we have to... Oh, I can get a... Oh, a very rare, uh, like, coffee pot. There we go. That is actually a rather good find. I'm gonna run out of energy soon, but let's go over here as well, as there is a mystery item. Ooh, fertilizer. Um, oh, unfortunately, I seem to have run out of room in my inventory. Oh, well, okay, let's go home. Kale. Kale is... Yeah, I felt like kale was one of those things that, like, isn't that just a leaf growing on a tree? And then someone told me that I could eat it. And then that opened up the possibility of other leaves that I might be able to eat. You know, like, oh, maybe I could just go up to a tree and just start... But, I mean, that starts to bring in... A, like, theoretically, you could eat plastic. It doesn't mean that it's good for you. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Large backpack. Right flower seed. Put that on the ground. Ooh, more lettuce! Okay, great. Now that we have discovered the last of the lettuce, uh, we can return back to our campfire... And then we should be able to make... Ooh, ah, more water is required. I know what to do here. Here we go. Yes. Grow my lettuce. My domesticated lettuce. Okay. Ah, everyone, we have our third salad. I can feel my... Uh... I was going to say something I, I really should not say. So I'm just going to stop this in short there. Uh, okay, let's see. We need another reinforced hammer. I will be able to... The nice part is that you can actually, like, clear out all of this stuff here. Like, this can be destroyed. All the stuff that looks like it's fixtures can just be destroyed later on. Um, I'm just trying to see what else I've got to do before I get to the final part. Uh, I'm gonna head back up to the roof for just a second. I believe that the... Oh, yeah, it was those metal... Like bars or whatever it was that I was missing. So let's go ahead back and find some... Uh, we should be able to use... I'm guessing scrap... Could we use scrap metal in order to create pipes? Let's just double check this for a second. Let me go back to my workbench. Otherwise, I will end up waiting a little bit. Yep, I could use that to create metal pipes. Can I then use those in order to create... 
like a metal construction fixture thing. Oh, no. Sorry, I stand corrected. Actually, I'm recalling that I, I need a different type of machine in order to create these things. What I'm looking for are these metal frames. Um, you can, yeah, a resource printer. So you need a resource printer in order to create these things. There's a lot of, like, requirements that you have for certain things. The tempered drill we could get if we get that drill bit set, though. Um, hmm. So there's a few more resources that we need to get, too. Just trying to think of what the best way to proceed is going to be here. I still need the steel saw. What other buildings can I craft? I wanted to say there was a... No, I can't get started with the crypto manufacturing yet. Um, I need to go complete like a little bit more of the story in order to do that, I think. Decoder module. Uh, alternative... No, it's not the alternative... It should be one that's like unlocked, I think. Upgrade. No, I just need more metal frames. Oh, well, I mean, what we could do is just, like, keep producing salad requirements, in which case I'll go back and get more fertilizer. Uh, which there was more fertilizer on the roof over there, so I could do that. Yeah, maybe I'll end up doing that, just because all of these items are starting to require the simple hammer. Let's go back there. Hmm. Hope the real... Yeah, felt, you know... You wanted the apocalypse. This is what you asked for, you know. You thought it would be cool, like, uh, you could just trespass on anything. Now, uh, you know. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think the apocalypse would be cool. I, I thought people would like me more during the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, this is an important module. I'm trying to recall what this is. I'm not sure if I found the use for the digital... Oh, no, yeah, digital storage. I'm pretty sure that was what I needed. Uh, am I able to do this yet? I think I may be able to talk to one of the bots now. Digital storage might have been one of the requirements for the... Like, the Bitcoin mining thing. Basically, let's see if... You Will you speak to me now? Oh no, it wasn't the refrigerator that was trying to sell me a hammer. It was a vending machine that was doing that. I'm now beginning to recall. In my, in my vast <laughs> dreams and hallucinations, I forgot which, like, household device was trying to sell me things. Um, mechanical breasts. Creates large construction materials, like planks or metal. I can't do... No, I can't do that there. Plank storage sprinkler. No, I do need the... I do need the resource printer. Sorry, this part is a little bit involved, and now I am beginning to recall that it is a rather cerebral part of the game that I am experiencing at this juncture. Uh, I still need metal frames. The one thing that I'm missing here is the steel disc. You need steel disc, of course, to make a steel saw, which is gotten in Agatha's store, which you need to go... You need to upgrade the smart tower and then go back up onto the roof to do that, but there's a couple of other segments and portions that I need to complete before then. Um, I've already done all the required fishing. Could extract liquid. I don't think I need to cut any metal here. I think I'm just going to store away my resources and wait until morning. Morning has come! Amazing! Oh, amazing! Uh... Oh, whoops. My hunger bar went down. Hang on a second, let me go ahead and grab some more blueberries. Or actually, biomass. I don't really have much more of a use for biomass. Aside from my three salads. Which look so good, except that I need them for trading as currency. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and store some items away in my inventory here. Okay, the transformers, the microchips, the nail. Uh, the nail, maybe I'll keep the nails on me. Light bulb, I don't really need much of this stuff for a while. Hey, digital store it. Uh, maybe I could use that for like a, an event or something like that, though. Just put all of that away for now. I'm gonna go on an expedition to just gather more materials uh, outside of my base. 
Now, I know that we get an exclamation point over here by the elevator. Let me just see if I can dismiss this event. Heard of a game called Workers and Resources. I actually have heard of that. My friend, uh, he's a Spanish YouTuber, but my friend Chichez played that. And we, like, have very similar game tastes. Do you think I would like it? Okay, I don't seem to be getting any event here, so I actually stand corrected there. Building the bridge. We won't be able to get the bridge yet for a while. We won't be able to get the minion. I mean, we could get the minion if we set our minds to it, but we still need, like, cryptocurrency mining if we want to get to that. Uh, baking mushrooms we could do. It's not really going to do too much. Baked mushrooms just in the chef mode. Move mannequin do. Oh, I do have to say hi to her. Okay, let me just get uh, her off of my back for a moment. Let me greet her, and then perhaps she will give me my next quest. Okay, yes, good. So now she has given me the tools that I needed to create. Yes, she contains the information for a crypto farm. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, yes. Um, I will put the crypto farm, like, over here. I actually did consider doing this with a computer that I, like, had no use for a while back. Okay, let's go ahead and extract more liquid from some of these plants over here. I think I should be able to actually get by this one fine. Okay, cool. Now we grab that, and let's get some of these floating in midair metal, uh, sheets. Here we go. So now if I bring these over... Hmm... Finish that off. Oh, and I should be able to put in some of the liquid. At least some of the liquid. Hmm. No, my leaf is still growing. Oh, I could grow yet even more leaves. I forgot that I had seeds. Lettuce seeds. There we are. <laughs> Seed. Sorry, I am I have like the maturity of a, of a middle schooler. Here we go. My plants are growing. Now, fortunately, I can babysit all of these, like, one next to the other. Let's put in those. Okay, now I need the light bulbs, and I can craft those. Yeah, things are starting to come together. I'm getting my lettuce leaves growing. Tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, because I always feel so slow. Oh my gosh, the lettuce has grown right before my very eyes. Ah, yes, I can create more salads in order to be worthy of a hammer. How many salads are we at now? Three salads! Three out of four salads! Oh my god! Alright, there we go. Okay, now I just need to wait for one more salad to grow out of the ground. It's kind of odd because I have this actual dream in real life that I will be able to grow all of my own food one day. To be, like, self-sufficient. It just sounds good, although it's probably more work than it's worth. Alright, it looks like I'm just waiting on this one. The two areas where lettuce leaves generally spawn. Yes, I do know the areas where the lettuce leaves spawn. I was, like, camping them before to try to get lettuce to grow for me. Okay, I've got about ten more minutes until that happens. Oh, whoops. I can... Fortunately, I can now kind of consume all of the biomass without judging myself. Oh, no, I actually just realized I need that for powering my cryptocurrency machine. Now that I actually have to, like, say all of the things out loud, I realized when I was playing the game before, I was going through all the engineering sides of things. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just bring the salad to the cryptocurrency machine. Like, <laughs> why are some of these things <laughs> what they are? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, did I? No, I didn't get that. Uh, 2020, or what was it 2021? I feel like I'm being, like, sucked back in. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Broken supply crate. Shout out to Tiny Build Games. Actually in the chat. Hey, thank you very much for coming out. If it's Tom. Hi, Tom. Thanks very much for all the help with everything. And thanks for sitting with me through my technical difficulties, too. My whole audio setup just got kind of, like, weird right before I got started on the stream. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. 
Oh wait, no, Stan the Hoarder, we can't actually go to him because he's- we don't talk about him anymore. Okay, we're good. The food must grow for an- Oh, I wonder if my food will be ready now that I'm back from my adventure. Stomach is growling, I could eat an elephant. Uh, no, uh, the biomass will be useful for- Oh yes, I can extract more liquid. Like, the oddest things make me excited now. Yes, I can extract more of your liquid. Ah, no, I... bruised it. More flower matter. Blood for the blood god. Hmm. Uh... Looking at... It's, god, it's, look, it's like looking around at my own house. There's just so much crap lying around. Uh... Oh good! My items were actually preserved in their place. That is very good to know. Uh, time has not passed as I entered my wormhole of time travel. Uh, here we go. I will take out my light bulbs. What else? Plastic? Hmm. Hey, Edward. Thank you very much for the 1199 euros. First time cut you live, really enjoy the content. Thank you for helping me procrastinate. You're welcome for helping you procrastinate. I too require uh, non-existent digital people who exist only in cyberspace in order to help me procrastinate on my job and work. Ah, the final salad is ready. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh no, I don't have enough space in my inventory. Hang on a second. I will create more farms. Hang on a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Another garden bed. Uh, I will bring over the salad. Oh no, my inventory is still full. Never mind. I got a moment. I will put in the <laughs> guys. Actually, I just learned this the other day that fertilizer is just like poop. So it's like poop that plants need to grow. Did you know that? Personally, I still think that that's kind of a crazy fact. That plants, like, grow more from our poop. Though it does make sense of stuff. That's not to say that if you rub poop on anything that it'll grow more, though. Like, don't want to mislead you. Alright, let's go ahead and get that last salad ready. Oh boy, I can't wait to have my hammer. Ah, uh, this is actually a rather exciting moment. Finally. Ah, my hammer! Uh, fortunately I don't really need the other things. Oh, the inventory cell would be kind of nice, though. Maybe I should go ahead and do that. I don't have enough money. As is usually the problem in life, I don't have enough money. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, I can use this to replace my withered hand. Oh, whoops, my hunger is dropping again. Let me go ahead and eat the blueberries, for which I have very little use, as it turns out. Ah, uh, okay, I can take apart more things. Which is, after all, the goal of our lives. Ooh, now I can create a whole row of these things. Nice. Then I've actually got a good amount of water. I could just, like, make trips up and down. Um... I just just think, Rob, think. What am I gonna do here? Alright, I want to finish my cryptocurrency machine. I've already completed my salad adventure. What remains? Hey. Always. I'm probably butchering your name. Oisin? Oisin? Is it an Irish name? How do you say that? I was gonna say like Roisin. Oisin? I once had a student who had the name. Siobhan. And I thought it was Siobhan, which is embarrassing because I am ethnically Irish, but I didn't know the name. Or whatever it is. Hi, how are you? How do I say your name? Thank you for coming out. I'm happy you've enjoyed the videos. Now we need two more light bulbs and some electrolytic solution. And then we can start to use our lettuce farm in order to power our cryptocurrency operation. It's odd because there are some people in real life who have this as their actual goal in life. They're like, yeah, we just put solar panels on the roof. And we use that to power our other computer. 
which had a bunch of uh, NVIDIA 1080 Ti cards that were mining cryptocurrency for us. Ashin, and yes, am I saying it right? Ash, Ashin. Oh, I've never heard that name. Ah, I did guess it right though. Wow, that is actually rather impressive. Sorry, I am in the habit of being impressed at myself, even if it is vain. Happy you've tried the videos, though. Okay, hang on a second. We need uh, a little bit more cryptocurrency. We have, whoops, not cryptocurrency. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get our... Uh, the one thing I really like here is that there's like a bottomless pit of things to craft. I do think it would be nice. I guess I'll say what I would like to see in the game because it is early access. I would love it if you could get like a little bit of a bigger inventory to start just because it feels like a little bit right now like it slows things down um, although maybe I've just not really been playing very well too um, oh look the pool of blue crap went away that's good uh, okay cool more electrolytic solution okay so cool now my cryptocurrency this thing is actually very powerful <laughs> um, Okay, bio-generator. This one is uh, rather easy to build. I think I'm going to put this here. I want to put everything in kind of straight lines, more or less. Yeah, we'll put it right next to it, just so we know it powers it. So we need metal sheets for this, which I can get the one that's been levitating in midair for the last three days. There we go. I put that over there. Uh, let's get some more light bulbs. Uh, oh, also, the other thing that I should mention is uh, it might not seem inherently obvious why I have not gone to sleep in several days. Uh, the reason behind that is because I'm a vampire. Uh, no, of course I'm kidding. Uh, you use sleep to recover your health. Health normally goes down when your hunger bar gets to the bottom, but I think that's disabled right now. Um, but yeah, generally that is what happens. And if you die, well, you're dead, and it's, it's kind of like sleeping, I am told. I don't really have time for the crops right now. I have to handle this. Okay, I need another, what is that, a matrix? So I need yet more electrolytic solution and another microchip. Uh, I can't build a microchip. Can I? No, I don't believe I can. Okay, so I do just need another... I need another one of those things. Okay, I'm just going to allow them to eat my plants. Because I have, I have to handle some other matters right now. Though I need another microchip, which is really the, kind of the humdinger right here. Oh, but I can't extract the liquid. Time to channel the inner amphibian, lay down in a warm and cozy spot, and chill while enjoying the stream. Hopefully the chilling will mitigate the body temperatures experienced by the, by the warmth of the stream. Ah! A hammer is available to me. Now, I gotta say that I, I think one of the strongest points of this game is like the little kind of mini games here that you play. Like, they are oddly satisfying and rather addicting. The one thing that I, I will say is I, I know they're going to kind of like up the difficulty. Or like, I know that there's a lot of things that are turn, toned down right now because I had played an earlier build and I was like, oh god, everything is dying. But I actually kind of enjoy difficult experiences. Like, I don't know if I'm just weird like that. But I kind of like having a more readily apparent antagonist. Maybe it's just that I en I'm a bit of a masochist and I enjoy suffering. I think that definitely has to do like with it at least part way. And perhaps some therapy is required. Although that being said, uh, you know, I think therapy might not be the only thing at stake here. Ah, the salad has entered me. Sorry, I didn't have to say that in such a grotesque way, did I? Although I suppose that's my job. The metal frames I'm gonna need more stuff for. Um, upgrade modules I'm not gonna have. How long am I my stream for? Eh, probably uh, two to three hours. Generally speaking, I find that my brain turns into mush after three. But depending upon how I'm feeling what with the recent cold and everything, we'll see. Actually, I'm doing surprisingly well. I thought I might- I was afraid if I might be like death incarnate. 
But so far, it's just made me sound cooler. Is this a mobile game? I don't think there's any plans on doing it to mobile. I think the one thing that I, I would legitimately like to see different, I guess, I think that it's kind of like a meme reference right here. Although, I find that the U coin does kind of look mobile gamey. And I, in my, I mean, it's not actually, it's just the UI design kind of makes it look like it is. And I know that everyone kind of gets a knee-jerk reaction in my audience of like, what is that? When I show something like that. So, no, it is indeed not a mobile game. It just has kind of like a meme exterior to kind of like thumb its nose at that. At least I think, but yeah, that is like, maybe, maybe that is my bit of feedback for EA. Hmm. Oh no, all of my plants are being killed by invasive species again. Uh, hang on a moment. Oh god, where am I going to find another microchip? Am I- oh, maybe I put them in my storage back there, I actually- I'm a little bit worried because I- Hang on a second. Uh, put that back in there. Put that thing back where it came from more so help me. Uh, I don't have a microchip in there. And I don't have a microchip in there. Okay, where am I going to get a microchip? Ah, uh, Microchip. Parts. Uh, matrix. Requires the roof appliance. I mean, I really could find one in an appliance. Maybe if I go on another expedition, I'll find another appliance. That's generally speaking the... SOP in this sort of situation. Um, though it is also available at Stan Store. I might be able to get one more and then that would allow me to go out on more expeditions renewably. Which would be nice, although I don't believe that the appliances respawn. Let's go ahead on one more expedition. I might be able to pick one up for 70. I sound tired or congested. I am congested. Um, let's go ahead and see this. Stan the Hoarder. Here we go, trade. Okay, no, it costs 200. Man, how did I get this other thing? I'm going to have to go ahead and look around for another appliance. Either that or, like, salvage one from something over here. Just give me all of your metal. The battery run out isn't really a detriment to me, like there's nothing wrong there. Although there are all these other amazing areas that I can unlock if I get them. Hang on a second, let's go back to the roof. Here we go. Ah. All right, if I were an appliance, where would I be located at? I don't believe that there's any other drop-off items here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I did. I did totally find one. My bad. Ah, thank you. Okay, I was looking around for this for a while. Okay, so this should be enough to... Wait, why can I not disassemble it? Uh, hold and release to drop. Okay, now I should be able to disassemble. Ah, this will contain... Yes, because every kettle contains a, an electric chip. I do believe it does. Although this is a rather advanced kettle, yes. <laughs> Lots of circuitry in here. <laughs> it contains 500 MP3s and all of your favorite songs. So you can put all of your Celine Dion albums in there. Good, I did find that. Yes, that is the last microchip I need in order to get the matrix and then I can get the bigger expeditions going. And, oh, you know. Okay, this is amazing because now I can renewably create uh, cryptocurrency. Which is actually rather easy, you'll find. Okay, cool. So now I have my matrix. Okay, so now with this amazing matrix, I can put this into my machine. And now I just need some copper wire. This part is rather cool and a little bit factorian, I might add. I kind of like that aspect about it. Okay, so now I've connected the two of them. Uh, but I don't have any biomass in there, so I'm going to go ahead and just put in a bunch of biomass. Uh, wait a second, did I... 
Okay, cool. I may have added as much as I can. Cool, okay, so that's gonna last for quite a long time, and that's going to start generating you. You coins. So that's 72. Uh, these... I know that they look like... I know that they look like in-game current... I mean, technically it is an in-game currency, but... Yeah, I, do, I don't think that there's any plans for buying it. Oh my god. <laughs> Although, why is it that, like, every game... What is it, like, Jetpack Joyride or something like that had that? For that matter, I really did like that game. <laughs> we played that at lunch when I was in high school. Oh, good times. Good memories. Okay, but this is kind of cool now. I actually have, like... Uh, I actually have automation going. I love that. Hey, not me gaming. Salutations yourself. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming out. No, these are just you coins. You, you a coin. Cause you a coin, man. Okay, this part is kind of cool though, because now the whole world starts to kind of open up to us. Now we have our hammer. Um, we have our you currency being generated. And when we get enough of that, we can go back on that ship and then that, uh... That'll send us back over to Stan's store. And what do we need in order to upgrade this thing? Because once we upgrade our uh, smart tower, then we can go over to Agatha's store. And then we get the steel saw. And then once we get the steel saw, we can access more parts of the roof. It is kind of nice. Like, it does have that kind of skyblock feel about it. Where you start opening up more of the world. Um, I'm going to need more microchips, so I'm going to need to open up more of the roof. The metal frame I'll also need. Uh, it may actually be a while until I can do some of that stuff. Oh, we've got another event over there. I don't think I can check any more of that. Yeah, not until I get over there. Oh, well, okay. Um, I'll probably just take the time here. Well, we can complete some other tasks while we wait for some of that stuff to happen. Like, I'm going to go ahead and bring wood over to the bridge. I do want you to see this part because it's kind of cool and like I feel as though I might not end up having enough time but you can kind of start to cross the bridge if you get far enough along. Um, like I think that this is mainly the job of the bots although it takes me a little bit longer in the game to unlock the bots so now I'm like getting slightly pessimistic that I might not end up getting a to show them. But I, I think the m kind of more major emphasis has been put on farming here so we get to see the farming with my lettuce growth. Trading lettuce for a hammer. Like in Settlers of Catan. <laughs> Those are the resources. How many hammers would you trade me for all of this lettuce? Hey, a caged lemonade. Thank you for the very kind words. Hmm. Is it being streamed on other websites? No, just YouTube. Are there a lot of people multi-streaming lately? I haven't really seen that much multi-streaming. No, though, I haven't really kept up with, like, the stream wars, as it were. The stream wars! The battle for TwitchCon! <laughs> oh my god. No, the one thing that I do get is I kind of get a sense of, like, overwhelm at times. Like, I don't know what to do because there are so many options. Uh, I don't have the reinforced hammer. I have this small boy hammer. Oh, maybe I could look into that. Like, what other tools could I get? Hmm. Yeah, let's see that. So, what other tools could we upgrade? We need, uh, steel saw. Steel saw. Oh, you know what I could do is... The drill bit said, if I get the tempered drill, let's see if any stuff requires this. Tricky titanium, yeah. Actually, the reinforced hammer would be pretty good, too. But mainly, I think I need Agatha's store, which I just need more U coins for that. Anyway, I'm going to let that thing generate more U currency, and I'm going to get to work on the bridge over here for a minute. Because although I don't think I'm going to have the automation bots, I still want to show you some of this. Isn't that kind of cool, though, the way that it, like, evolves and develops? And you do start to create this sort of, like, suspended bridge as you go over. I just really like the way that the blueprint system, like, comes to life. As someone who plays, like, more kind of 
colony management games, I'm like, ooh, I wish that they kind of brought this engine over to that. That, and when you start to get your automation bots online, it's sort of like being in multiple places at once. But this is sort of like the menial labor that I'm trying to free myself up from. I could do a little bit more of that. Though I feel like I'm just going to get more done here if I... If I just head up. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if there's anything left in terms of expeditions for the day. Um, so I have 145 of these. If I want to upgrade, again, I'm going to need these metal frames, which are kind of tricky to get before I have the steel saw. Because uh, there are a lot more on the other side of the roof. Uh, the microchip I could get elsewhere too, but let's go ahead and just see on the expedition how expensive is the stuff that we need. Right now we need microchips. As well as a tempered drill wouldn't hurt, like a drill bit set. My hearing congestion. Yeah, I'm sick. Well, I'm over it, but thank you for the very kind wishes. Yeah, everyone's been like, oh, n hey, hey. Oh, no, like, you a sick boy. Thank you, though. I do appreciate it. Drill bits at just what we need to turn a low power drill into a well tempered one that can bite through sturdy steel, has plenty of spare bits, too. I want to just double check on some of the items that I would be able to get out of the way if I got this. Although I think we might end up having to save up for the microchip right here. Um, it's going to cost 200 That's okay, though. I mean, we can kind of accelerate the cryptocurrency gathering. The programmable core. You can build bots early on, but they'll, like, run out of power, and that won't be too much fun, so... Let me just go back home for a moment. And just see what I could get for the drill bits. Or, eh, I could just buy it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to use much else with it. Let's go ahead and just get it. I'm going to need some... I'm going to need it at some point anyway, so never mind. Ah. No, I'm not really even trying to... I've just been, like... I've been out of it for three weeks... Okay, here we go. Drill bit set. Like, I woke up to three different colds in three different weeks. I thought that, like, God was playing a prank on me. It was like the Book of Job. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Fortunately, it's, you know, it's nothing life-threatening, so I, what do I have to complain about? But, yeah, it was like a serious inconvenience. That had never happened to me before. Hopefully never again. Um, okay, now we have enough for... Ah, at last, another tool. Ah. I have increased. Alright, I'll stop saying that. It sounds kind of weird now. Oh, yes, awesome! Actually, I forgot that this was so available. So now some of these, like, bigger items that contain more titanium or whatever, we can start to take these apart. So this is where this game starts to, like... I, I feel like that this is where this game is very interesting, is that you have this whole environment that looks very much like prefab-y? I don't really know what to call it. But, once you find enough tools and stuff, you can take apart what appeared to be just like a prefab. Um, and you find that it all gets kind of this like Minecraft quality about it. Um, I think even this thing, I might be able to totally dismantle these fences altogether. Now I'm gonna need a steel saw for that. Well, I'll need Agatha's store for that. I do want to see if I can get us to Agatha's store, though, because that is kind of a cool part. When you open up those things, you can start to take down fences and just, like, the whole roof opens up. You can customize everything your own way. Oh, yes, I can! I didn't realize that this was available so early on. So I don't have my reinforced hammer yet. Oh, but this is another battery. That's good. I don't have any room for that. Let me get rid of this, uh... Oh, no, just a bright flower seed. Nothing funny about a bright flower seed. But yeah, like, even all of this stuff can be dismantled. More like the Book of Toad. Yes, I mean, it's basically humanity the game. That's a valid, that's a valid summation. Like, working hard so that we can automate the hard work, you know? Like, if I toil in the sand and the dirt long enough, then eventually 
Perhaps the machine god will smile down upon me, and I will be able to force them to do my labor for me. So this is kind of cool. You open up like whole new parts, and I just like the feeling of like that kind of one tile start. I like that the quality about this game, and that's where I think that this game really shines. Is that like I, I think it might be like a, a matter of just kind of limiting what is available to the player to begin with. Um, because it is quite a lot of overwhelm to begin with, but look at how much new stuff there is in this area and like How much the whole world is kind of opened up to me even what appears to be impassable We can just take apart certain parts um, With all the tools that I've crafted for myself, and I do like that about this game It's like I said, it's still in EA. So there's some things that are like kind of rough around the edges um, That and I think like the presence of a real antagonist which I, I do know that they made it, like, slightly more accessible for this. But, like, power to them. It's not easy developing a game. Um, hmm. Here we go. Dismantle. Okay, so now I have two metal frames. I believe that there are more places where I can get them. Although this part is actually rather tricky. And there is a machine that can create these things. Uh, ooh, these lights come on. I didn't actually know that. I'm just going to grab more vegetation. This vegetation is quite useful because it can be used for my cryptocurrency mining operation. But now what's kind of fun is that I've got that machine back there dealing with all the cryptocurrency stuff. And that's kind of like passively getting me more resources while I hear... While I hear... <laughs> I don't know what, I'm, what am I saying. <laughs> well, I hear I'm trying to, you know, go about my daily tasks and advance my state of being in life. Here we go. Let's add more grass to the cryptocurrency generator. Oh, sacred machine! Reward me! I sound like the emperor of mankind should sound like what? I always thought I sounded like what would happen if someone came into too much power and was actually very confused, but everyone, for some reason, was still, like, more or less okay with it. <laughs> ah, it's okay, he's learning the ropes. Ooh, I want to say that this is... Did they add this into the game since the last build? Or wait a minute, no. I may... Wait a minute, depending upon whether I can fully dismantle this thing. Uh, ooh, nice. Yes! Oh, wow! Oh, that's actually... Uh, oh, wait a minute. No. No, never mind. I stand corrected. Sorry, I forgot that it was the other side that I couldn't dismantle. Okay, so now I've actually created another shortcut for myself. I'm trying to recall if this was... I think this was in the demo build. Sorry. Something totally just took me off guard there. Ooh, more vending machines. More like decorative stuffs. More invent inventory cell. So, oh, I didn't know that I could do that with the caviar. I wouldn't have eaten all the caviar before if I had known that. I may need to go get more caviar from down there. Um, yeah, I know that we started off kind of slow, but like, hopefully you can see that everything kind of picks up and just like the whole world kind of gets opened to you as you go. I'm going to go over back to that suitcase. I kind of like this coat better, actually. It looks more like Wastelander. In my opinion. Yes, yeah, survivalist. I thought that was just like poop that he had rubbed on the top of it, but it was actually a leather like covering. Sorry, the entire video for this week was about poop. Um, so I've just been saying poop nonstop. Some of the stuff that I just say is so random when I listen back to these. Recordings. Why do I say these things? Okay. Um, let me put in the plastic. Let me just put in a little bit of everything for right now. I'm gonna go back and catch some fish. I want some more inventory space for right now, and then maybe I'll go ahead and gather up some more of those metal pieces. But yeah, I mean, like, what I like about this game is that even with those pieces not really, like, fully implemented yet, I think it takes a little while to get into it, but I think that they've just got, like, the kind of evolutionary resource development. It's like, it works. Oh, wait, I put away my handmade rod. Rod Stewart.
be sounding like the dad you never had. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't have your dad. I don't know whether you're talking about not having your dad or whether you're complimenting me. I, don't know, I feel like I got in the wrong discussion here. Uh, can you make another handmade rod? What happens if I lose my handmade rod? Lost my rod. Sorry, I was getting old Willy vibes from, uh, uh, what was it, Stardew Valley that we'd been playing. Lost Marad. Oh, uh, we may be able to get the tails of those things. Okay, here we go. We can use these as lures as well. Maybe this will be useful for more caviar production. What I have now? Two of them in my inventory. Oh no, whoops, I didn't pick that one up. Never mind. There it is. So there was a benefit to massacring their population. Ah, uh, wait. Am I able to destroy this thing fully yet? No, I still need the steel saw. So much stuff here does require the steel saw, in fact. But yeah, we can basically take apart all of the trash and make everything beautiful. It's very tempting because I am kind of a neat freak. Like, if everything's not just so, it does sort of upset me. It's not really the coolest fact about me, but it is true, unfortunately. Ah, yes. Now we can play the world's most satisfying minigame again. I haven't messed this up once during the stream. Oh, wait, no, I did because I went too soon, but I haven't inaccurately clicked. But if I do, it will be very upsetting to everyone here. Ah. Would, would Elon Musk be the first emperor of Mars? I don't know, why did they change the platform name of Twitter to X, though? I don't... I just feel like they... Like, why change something that was already working? I don't... I don't get that. That one came up to me the other day. Did you guys follow that story? Oh, no, there actually is a, a great benefit to catching trash in this game, though. Well, I mean, not the trash. The clams, really, is what I mean, because then we can use the clams to capture other fish. Will we be able to get caviar, though? No, just scrap metal. There we go. Give me the fish. More clams. Here we go. Alright, now we can get more of those, honestly, like, a rather threatening looking fish. Oh, Jesus, I messed up the game! Oh, I lost the clam in the river! This is upsetting. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Was I sick during the Pikmin stream? Yeah, then I am. It's It was a rough one. I was sick for like a month. Idea of owning a big service called... Oh, he always wanted to own the big service called X. At least he didn't change it to like Wiener. Hey, welcome to Wiener. This is a platform where you can express all of your ideas and opinions. Wiener. <laughs> Weenie Hut Juniors. Oh, why didn't he call it Weenie Hut Juniors? That would have been so much funnier. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine? <laughs> Weenie Hut Juniors. I logged down to Weenie Hut Juniors the other night, and I was beside myself. I had to express all of my opinions. Ooh, lunar tubers. I think these may actually be useful for something, so I'm not going to get rid of them right away. Uh, okay, what is it that we can get from this vending machine? I wanted to say another inventory cell. Ooh, chemical resistant bulb for enough of those. What is this, like a, a thing with jelly? Like a piece of bread with jelly? Inventory cell would be useful, though. Oh, we can dismantle this thing as well. Ah, but by this time we've probably generated more cryptocurrency. Let's go back and check. Ah, satisfying ding. Everything is very, like, satisfying here. I don't know what it is that they did with the UI and animations, but, like, 
Just unto itself, everything feels good. Okay, put the fish in. Unfortunately, I will be unable to retrieve any... Ca oh, no, it... It, the caviar, the lack of caviar was a lie. Caviar was available all along. Hang on a second. Uh, I'm going to have another the black bass. There we go. Is any more... Ca yes, I am getting caviar out of it. Why are you not telling me that caviar is available from it? Okay, I have only two caviar. Unfortunately, that's not really as much as I thought I would have from that. Let's just go ahead and see here. Can I even get close to upgrading this thing? Hmm. Upgrade. Uh, okay, I do have the... Oh, actually, the microchips should be pretty easy to get. And the metal frames now, I should be able to get those as well. I think I'm going to need 400 U coins, though, if I want to go any further with this. So let's go ahead and see if we can find more metal frames down there. We need 12 metal frames, and then beyond that, we will need... Da -da -da -da, um, uh, the microchips, which we can just buy at the other place. So that should be fine. Once we get that, then we can go to Agatha's store, and then we can get the steel. Which is useful for the other stuff. Ooh, more cool jacket stuff. Uh, can't really do anything else with this. You know, this could really work as a multiplayer game, too. Imagine doing it with your friend. The possibilities. Endless. Um, metal frame. Metal frame. If I were a metal frame, where would I be located? Ah, uh, I can't move these things out of the way, so I'm just going to destroy them. Hmm. Uh, at least you can kind of minify it. Or miniaturize? Minify? Minify isn't really a word, is it? Found in the English language. No, that word isn't found in the English language. What am I saying? You can mine current cryptocurrency in the Gmod. Didn't know that was a thing. Everyone, uh, imagine. Oh, is he going to tr No, I don't think that they can actually copy, or what is it, trademark a single letter. <coughs> <coughs> We're like real words, like, like you can't trademark sandwich. Like that would just be, that would be like trying to charge everyone for breathing air. Like, I invented air. <laughs> Could you imagine? It would be very interesting to see someone try to do that. Like, make the legal case that they could do that. <laughs> but no, I don't believe that that's available. In the United States, right now, as, as, as it is. <laughs> I mean, we're going to live in, like, Musk world or whatever it is. Muskland, Muskland, and Musquirrel. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Take the yet. Yeah. God, make this really makes me want to just take apart everybody's microwave at their house. Just go over, just be a nuisance. <laughs> oh yeah, I could fix that up for you. <laughs> Start taking things apart. <laughs> be the obnoxious friend. Though some items don't really seem inherently to depend upon one another. Ah, good. I found more electrical chips from that. Hmm. Chips. I guess I'll take the microchips into my inventory. That seems like the most useful item here. I still need more metal frames, though. Twelve metal frames is kind of a big ask. Oh, yeah, I could do the resource printer, I'm pretty sure. I'm just trying to remember how I go ahead and make that, though. Um, support. Manufacture- Ah, uh, yeah, it would probably be under manufacturing. I don't believe that I've unlocked that yet. I think I need to do a little bit more work before I get that. It might be making the minion. Which the minion should actually be, like, fairly easy to get once I get the programmable core. Maybe I'll end up doing that, because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get to that other stuff in time. 
Yeah, because you do start to run out of metal frames and you do just need to like go get them from somewhere else or make them yourself is what I meant to say. Let's go ahead and get those U coins. Yeah, let's go get a programmable core. Uh, what do I need for a minion again? I mean, I pretty much have everything else I need. Let's just go get a programmable core. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build a minion. We'll build one. I think that, like, they haven't been fully implemented yet, so it'll just be, like, kind of a preview, but... Yeah, like, just something to kind of, you know, give us, like, a cherry on top. Hmm. Stan the Hoarder. Trade. After all, he was a traitor. You're a traitor, Stan the Hoarder. Um, hmm. I want to say programmable core is the way to go here. Uh, why am I not able- Oh, my inventory was full. Can I just drop something off into the void? Oh no, I don't actually seem to be able to do that. I'm going to need to return home then. I will put something down and then come back. I could have sworn, I thought that you get an extra storage thing and then it drops it off into like a basket. Excuse me, like a basket when you get there, but I seem to be incorrect about that. So let me just put down the slime that I discovered. There we go. Hopefully, once I create the minion, that I should be able to get the metal frames again. But yeah, then that will get us the steel tools, and that will allow us to cut through more stuff, which is honestly the goal of our lives. Get through as much stuff as possible. Okay, cool, so now I have room for that. And I still have 48 U-coins left. Woo, U-coins, everyone. What is the plot of this game? Well, seen through Haggis. I wonder where your name comes from. Seen through Haggis. Yeah, what, it, what does that mean? The plot is that the world has ended, and now we need to trade salads for cryptocurrency because the robots own us, and they wish to become human, so we're trying to give them organic matter uh, so that they will become as we are in the words of Terence McKenna. And that's the story. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a, a robot. <laughs> Move the robot. Robot. <laughs> haven't, haven't they been called robots? What was that from? Uh, okay, another matrix. We should be able to craft one of these at the workbench. But yeah, this is where the automation occurs and this is actually a rather cool part of this game. Uh, I need more liquid and plastic. I require more liquid and plastic. Who am I? Uh, I could have sworn that there was more liquid extraction opportunity here. I was saying, let me just dismantle this. Then where will I obtain the liquid of which you speak? No. Oh, there is more liquid. Yes. That is the substance for which I have searched. Let me also go complete that random event over there. I believe that is for the... Yeah, that's for the tubers. Um, I'm not going to pull out the weeds because then that will damage me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting automation at first. It's a little bit more emphasis on, like, dismantling right here. I've had robots, like, walk into things and stuff like that, so I am just kind of want to keep, like, low expectations here because I know that this is one of the things that they're working on more in early access. But, I mean, for me, I'm like, hey, cool, automation. I love automation. So I'm just like, uh, like, let's see if we can at least show the base system. Um, minion, we need that. Uh, what was I looking for again? In order to create that, I need... Ah, uh, I always forget now what I was looking for originally. God, there's so many light bulbs everywhere. And yet I don't have any ideas. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a storage. Oh yeah, plastic would be useful. So many light bulbs everywhere, and yet I have no ideas. 
What a dumb problem. Oh, that actually has nails in it. Uh, the one, it'll be nice when I don't have to step around all of this and I can just destroy it in a couple of minutes. Or it'll probably be hours at this rate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see. Um, oh, I can actually make a reinforced cybernetic hand. Oh, hold twice the items. I actually did not make that before. Let me go ahead and craft one of those. I did not realize I could do that. Okay, now I have a better hand. Do I have to put on my hand? No, I... Uh, I'm trying to remember how that was operative for my character. I do not recall, actually. Never mind. I have a better hand now. Believe me now. He hear me now, believe me later. Um... Okay, I need another matrix. That was what it was. Okay, I have everything for one. Cool. And now for the finishing touch. Uh, oh wait, no, it went into the workbench. My bad, because my inventory is full. Take that. <coughs> okay, word of warning, he is going to run out of power. Um, hang on a second. And he may also, like, we will see how his pathfinding is. Okay. Yes. He does look like a minion from the... He has, like, maybe it's just because of the one eye. Gather. I will control you. Ooh, he's starting to do his job! Alright, let me get out of the way. Okay, one thing that I experienced a little bit in like, um, sometimes they get like caught on items. So, ooh, I've tried to like clear out a very like safe area for him to just kind of move around in. But look, now he will gather all of the crap on the roof, although he will run out of battery uh, very soon. Like, and I will be very unhappy. Although like their recharging station is basically like a kiddie pool, which is kind of funny. But yeah, like, it's very nice to have an employee doing my work for me now. Look, ooh, there he goes. Ah, uh, I can spend more time just feeding myself and stuff now. Oh no, be gone, leeches. Oh, I forgot that I get hurt by picking you up. I need spray. I need chemical spray. <laughs> anyway, that's some of the stuff that I think is kind of cool about this game. I just like the idea of having, like, an army of servants around me and doing all my work for me. That sounds like so oddly dictatorial. <laughs> I just like the idea of having an army of subservient humans underneath me. Uh, here we go. Okay. Die, Satan! <laughs> Good. Be gone! Alright, Good. We've collected all of their materials. Uh, and my robot friend continues to work. How much bat- She's actually running out of battery. They do run out of battery rather fast. So she's just gonna run out of battery and I- It's actually kind of a lot of effort to create the charging station because you need like plexiglass and stuff, but... Oh, I might be able to. It's probably going to be kind of a wild goose chase though. I just want more of these things out of the way. Ah, the satisfaction meter is rising. That would be my one, like, kind of criticism, is I feel like it takes a while to get- Actually, the automation is working really well right now. Um, or, like, the kind of pathfinding on it. But yeah, like, uh, I find that to be rather gratifying. It's nice to have this all cleared out, and I don't really want to have to do all of these jobs myself. But there are, like, other upgrade modules and things like that, where you can have them go build stuff. So if you want them to go work on the construction of this thing, you don't have to do that yourself. But, yeah, it's like- you can just, you know, save more time for exploring and stuff that you like. Um, what else was I thinking of? Uh, fake mushrooms, build the first level of columns, build a bridge. I wanted to say there was one other thing I was going to cover. Upgrade modules. Hmm... 
Uh, once again, I am not declaring that I am the future. That is the name of the game. Um, everyone, I am the present. Bigger battery. Oh, that would be kind of nice. Maybe I should have done that. I'm just going to wait on that for a second. I feel like I've shown that. Uh, metal frame. Oh, yeah, I'll need a little bit more oil. Oil can stuff. Uh, really, the metal frame is the one I'm missing here. Um, hmm. I can't really get that further away, though there is a resource printer, like I said. Oh, maybe this was it? Yeah, let me see if this is the item that contains the resource printer recipe. I want to say it was one more event. Music giving, like, kind of State of Decay vibes. Yeah, I feel like that kind of vibe of, like, rebuild. Ah, yes, this is it. Okay, so this is the resource printer. Resource printer shouldn't be too, too tricky to get out there, I want to say. But yeah, it's kind of like, ah, I want to get to the next thing, you know? The next thing and the next thing and the next thing. The fact that the bot is not, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, he got hung up on something when I was doing one of the pre-builds, so I was like, oh no, because <laughs> I had built everything up for that. But he's actually behaving really well right now, and this is super gratifying, like, everything is working so nicely. Oh, please continue to do what you're doing. Never run out of battery. I mean, I know that you will run out of battery soon. Okay, the resource printer, though. Let's go ahead and see that. Let's keep this along the edge of the wall, too, I think. It's just going to be a better place for it. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. And we'll put you near the lady computer. Or jukebox lady. Over here. It's also nice that you can, like, blueprint stuff before you actually put it out. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to blueprint a bio generator over here. So if I want to do this, I need some more electronic chips. Ah, finally, a use for that solvent. Where is all the solvent again now, I realize? Although I do believe that he will put these things into the same area. Ah, yes, there is my remaining solvent. Okay, that's good. Sims Apocalypse DLC. Yeah, I'm kind of like, well, that's like world building. Now, I feel like that they could have left more of the story elements for later. I feel like that's good world building is like it kind of makes you more curious. But it does kind of develop on itself as you go. So there is that. Any microchips? Those are in the bottom, I believe. Uh, okay, good. Finally, use for all of this crap lying around. I was wondering here when I had played, like, do you have a finite amount of resources? Or is it, um... Like, do some things respawn? And there are some items that respawn, like all the vegetation does. Oddly enough, some of the, like, um... Like, some of the ruined technology does respawn as well. Which I found, like, slightly odd, but at the same time, I was like, okay, at least... It, like, there are some resources where it's like, ah, I just can't find one of these things. And it is nice to get them. Ooh, another thing to dismantle. Uh, I am not getting any of the electronics I was hoping for from this yet. Just kind of like scrap metal. I guess that some items are more useful to deconstruct than others. Like, does this have any circuit board in it? Okay, there we go. Did find a microchip. 12 out of 14, what is that? That's kind of odd. I don't remember that thing. Ooh, you can take off the entire front piece. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that there. Uh, hmm, what else is there to do? I need the, the metal pipes for later. The solvent I can just put on the ground. The plexiglass is going to be useful for something. I can't remember what I used plexiglass for before. Okay, good. I've got the chips in. Okay, now I just need five transformers. And those are easy to craft at our workbench. 
Okay, your battery is low, so now he's basically just gonna stand there. Like, I didn't create the recharge. I warned you at the beginning of the stream. I didn't do a very good job. Okay, now I need scrap metal and plastic. And go get that stuff back. Oh no, I already just have the cables. Uh, yeah, transformer. Two, three, four. Was that enough, or did I need five? Because I do still want wire to be able to connect the two things. Yeah, scavenging... Okay, I do need five. Scavenging could be easier in time. Like, there are multiple ways to get resources, too, so if you run out of stuff, you can always just go back and find another way to do it. Like, um... I didn't really show the full extent of that thing on the rooftop, but once we get this... Oops, ah, they weren't in my inventory. Oops. It will be nice when my inventory is enlarged. It's not the size of your inventory, though. Well, it is about the size of the inventory, unfortunately. Okay, another matrix and another light bulb. Oh, finally! I have a use for all of those goddamn light bulbs I had on the ground. Hmm. Where are those light bulbs now? Uh, if I were, uh, um... Actually, let's see what's in here. If we can find any more electronic circuit boards. Some of these items actually contain rather good things. Like, this one has battery matter in it. No. I mean, I feel like that the light bulbs would be over by the more electronic-y types of things. What is in there? No, that's just gonna contain more battery stuff. Let me put the slime on the ground. Mm, no. Seeds. Okay, copper wire. I'll have a use for it in a bit. Okay, more drilling. Yeah, it does become, like, pretty much just kind of a dismantling mini-game, though. There are a lot of that when you get kind of caught up in that. Like, it is a little bit tricky to find some of the materials. Oh, here we go. Ah, yes! Finally, I found the thing. But then it is, like, genuinely satisfying when you find certain items. Like, ooh, I've been looking for one of these things. I kind of had, like, a bit of a point-and-click vibe, too. Like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Like, I don't know, I, I like, I've been going off on all the things that I enjoyed as a kid, but yeah. I get a little bit of that. I was wondering how it would play on a laptop, though, too. Because I felt like that it's very good for, like, passing the time. Like, I've got a big flight coming up. Hmm, electrolytic. Okay, here we go. Ah, now this is the final circuit board that I will need. And then this will give me the ingredients to the thing that's all the way up there, and then that it is like all these like kind of convoluted steps. But once you finally get the two pieces like joined together, then it is very satisfying in that kind of factorio way. Like, ah, now that I've been through all of that prep and planning, like finally the factory can run. And it kind of has that like amazing sense of satisfaction at the end. Let me go ahead and get some more electrical cables. Yeah, though scavenging will probably not be this easy in the actual apocalypse. Nope, we're all out of everything. <laughs> hmm. Plastic bottles. I suppose I could move the metal frames into here while I get the, like, metal printer ready over there. Okay, here we go. This is this is the electrolytic solution that I needed. I'll put my digital storage in there. That seems like a very important item, though. I don't want to lose that. Because that gives me my matrix, and now I have the copper wire. Okay, and now finally, at long last, I have enough for a matrix thing, and then I can connect this over to here. Ah, finally, now I have a resource printer going. And now I can put in all of these metal pipes... And as soon as I power this thing up, let me just put in some biomass in here. Cool. Okay, so now I'm actually creating these metal uh, frames out of nothing. So uh, when I come back here and... Do I have enough? Uh... Okay, there we go. Create. 
Okay, so that thing's going to set a timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. It is actually going to print these things and they'll emerge out of this like butthole over here. Uh, and then, yeah, like we can use those in our other construction. So a lot of steps, but you can sort of farm all of your own materials, which I think is kind of satisfying. And then you take those on more adventures and go other places. So yeah, finally now we can, we have basically automated the way to get to a steel saw. I think I'm going to just play through to the part where I get a steel saw just so I can make myself like somewhat super powered. And I think that that is kind of cool. Like we can, you can just start taking down the whole environment around you. And that's kind of where the game opens up. And I feel like that's where this game really shines. Of course, I mean, there is also the automation aspect, which I think is a little bit further down in the development road, but I think that's like, uh, I mean, it works, but it's also just like, probably it'll take me a while to get these robots moving faster anyway, so. Yeah, anyway, that's the general gist of the gameplay loop. Floating robot friend. Hey, it's YouTuber friend Chichas. I had actually just mentioned you when someone said, uh, uh, workers and resources, Soviet Republic. Also, I'm very happy that I'm going to be, uh, with you in a couple of weeks when we're doing that horrifying thing that we are going to be doing. Uh, we're doing something that's actually rather scary together. And I, I was very relieved when I, uh, I'm going to be at Gamescom and I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to actually be doing one of the events at Gamescom where we're going to be lifted into the air by like 150 meters <laughs> and we're going to stream cities skylines um but yeah like it's going to be a, a crazy uh it's going to be a crazy event and she and me will be there together for it and i am utterly terrified but i i had to do it because i, th I thought it would just be too much fun yeah I, I would really regret if i didn't but yeah anyway i'm like very happy that you will be there <laughs> i was so happy when i when you told me that you were going to be coming to it I, like, didn't know because a bunch of people had cancelled it. So I was like, I guess, like, fear of heights. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be really exciting, though. Oh, it's going to be a great time. Why? <laughs> For fun. <laughs> For fun. Yeah, cities in the skylines. Hmm, hang on a second. Learn the baked mushrooms recipe in chef mode. Hang on a second. Oh, yeah, I've, I've neglected all of my bodily needs for a while. Hang on a second. I don't want to throw away the tubers. Okay, cool. We got more metal grates. But look at how quickly that creates them. Like, I don't have to... I'm not limited by my feeble human form anymore. Thank you for holding my hand. I'm sincerely worried, although I'm really looking forward to getting a beer with you when we go there. It's going to be a great time. Hopefully there will be time. Yeah, Chichez and I cover a lot of the same games. Actually, one of my few in real life YouTuber friends. Here we go. Have you checked out I Am Future? Like, I feel like it's kind of got some of your vibes about it, this game too, man. Potential, but audience potential. Possibly, possibly. Hmm. Here we go. Not really about automation as I expected, is it? Automate sometimes affect her. It's sort of like I can't really tell whether it's like a core or a secondary mechanic, so maybe that one's on me. I just feel like I kind of enjoy that memeiness of the title. But yeah. Generally speaking, it does take a while in the game to get up to some of that stuff, and it's a little bit further down the gameplay road, but some of that's just my, like, silly titling. Make of it what you will, that is to say. I think it's valid, though. Um, but that being said, I do think that it's sort of, like, more of a survival crafting emphasis, to answer your question. Although, like, I kind of see the automation stuff in the farther off. Like, this guy ran out of battery, but I haven't really unlocked the stuff that I need. Oh, I could soon, though. Ooh, actually, I could get him to his charging station, though I think I would rather get the steel saw in the end, and then maybe we'll, if we have a little bit of time for that after, we can do it. Hmm. I think if I do, not the charging station. 
Okay, I'm just gonna wait on these two. Man, it's like producing so rapidly now, though I can hardly keep up with it. Okay, I'm just going to eat the lunar tubers. I don't think I'm gonna get through to what they were, what event they were going to give me anyway. Okay, but now I have 412 of these things. That should be pretty good. Let's go make sure that we have all the required resources for the last part. I think we need a little bit more in the way of fish. Yes, you actually need fish to advance the storyline. It's kind of odd like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here we will make an oil can. Oh, wait, no, I already just used up all of my scrap metal. Never mind. Um, okay, I need to get more from the wild. I uh, know that is to cut planks. Oh, wait a minute. No. Uh, no, I just need more scrap metal. Which event is this? Okay, yeah. Let's get it here. I can get scrap metal from that. Ooh, I could just get a matrix right from this thing. I wish I had seen that before. That was like a direct matrix event. How did I miss that? Dismantle this. I could get plastic from here. Hmm. Just such a mess of resources in this game. It really does have that kind of like aneurysm feeling though. Like it's it's kind of like somebody just vomited up all of civilization onto this rooftop. And now it's like, what do I do with all this? But once you finally get a handle on it, which we are starting to now, it's like, ah, okay, no, this is kind of gratifying. Although you forget what you, like, started for, anyway. Hmm. Let me see. Resource printer, so we've already got up our resource printer. Charging station. Wooden barricade. This is for defenses from the leeches and stuff like that later on. Hmm. I think the only thing that's remaining is the oil. Oh yeah, the oil cans. So did I actually get those out of the fire? I think those were still in there. Let me just put that down. Okay, yeah, oil can. So I just need a third one of those, and then our resource printer should almost be done here. Here we go, and three, two, one. Uh, I'm still gonna need microchips, but I do have seven out of the 12 metal frames that I needed. But then that will allow me to go to Agatha's store, then get the steel saw, and then I can basically dismantle everything. Um, microchips though, microchips. Oh, what I could do here is go to sleep one more time. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Go to sleep. Get the steel saw. Well, if I can in time. Oh, maybe that will speed up my uh, cryptocurrency acquisition as well. Oh my god. Yes, the harmonica. A timeless instrument of uh, apocalyptic uh, dread. Oh no, I'm too hungry to sleep. So let me just eat the flowers in my pocket and all of the biomass that I left in there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I, okay, I will take out the remaining biomass from there. I think as long as I have, what, like 40-something hunger? Should be good to go for sleep. Do a Luigi's Mansion stream. Oh, since I did Pikmin? Yeah, probably doing some more Nintendo here or there. Ah. Uh, okay, we're at 6 a.m. now. I think we should be able to go back out on our questing. Ah, hmm. uh, exciting burp, thank you. I think it's just the sick version of me, but I appreciate it. I didn't break down coughing at any time. That made me feel good. Ooh, I did get more from my sleep. So what do I have now? Okay, 14. And I still have enough. Okay, good. That should be everything I need for the last of the metal frames. And now... 
I think the last remaining thing is really the microchips. Which I could find those on the roof, though, probably. Let's see if we can find those on the roof, just because I don't want to spend all of my U coins. God forbid that I spent all of my U coins on something. Uh, my son took my credit card and he spent all of my money on U coins. <laughs> I had to call the company to get my money back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, steel saw. Wait, was there something that required a drill? Okay, cool, drill. I wonder if there's gonna be any, like, electronic circuits in this thing. Ah, yeah, maybe like in an AC unit you'll find some kind of electrical panel. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no, I still need the steel saw. Ah, well. I want to say that there was one more appliance on the other side, only because this could save us 200 U coins. I might not have to. <laughs> I might not get in trouble anymore with my mom for spending all the money on the U coins. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hmm. Dismantle. Cut metal. No. Uh, where was it? I want to say that there was one more appliance over here. I swear to God, wasn't there something else? Does anyone else remember where the other appliance was that I couldn't find? I don't think it was over here. Cut planks. Demanding a Luigi's Mansion stream. When, since when has, have I ever said anything about Luigi? Is it because I keep subtly using more like Italian music in my, in my videos? Now everyone's like, Eh, bring in Luigi. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually played Luigi's Mansion, shamefully enough. Oh, wait a minute, I see it now. There is a microwave right there. That's good. This will save me my U coins. I know that they released, they re-released, uh, what is it? Pick I would do Pikmin 1, maybe. Yeah, slowly make the way back into some Nintendo stuff. I wanted to do uh, Zelda when that came out, though I didn't have it. We're demanding a Dr. Mario stream. <laughs> Man. I didn't go to the doctor because I had only Dr. Mario. We didn't have healthcare. Ah, there we are. Now I have... Uh, what is this? I have all the U coins you could ever want. I have all the V bucks I could ever need. Great, now I have 11. Um, charging station. I think I've been there for that. Uh, was it two or three? I'm just double checking on the last of the resources here. I need two. Okay, so I've got them. Okay, so I just need one more thing, and then I can get the steel saw, and that brings me out to Agatha's store. Woo! Took me long enough. 38 more seconds. Okay, I think once I have all of that, I mean, it is a lot of, like, resource chasing down. Finally, I can get you some more battery power again, maybe. Once I get that, well, the steel saw won't really make a big difference there, but I don't know. I just think the steel saw is kind of cool, because it's, like, one of the last big items that you need. Good. So that it just poops that out, and now we can bring that over. Ah, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Wow, that was an insanely easy upgrade. I am actually surprised. Uh, we can do another upgrade, I believe, but I'm not ready for it yet. Learn how to disassemble a microwave by disassembling my own microwave. Mario meant, went to medical school, actually. Uh, okay, here we go. Anti-Agatha's Superstar. The one that's just labeled as Empty String. A I think that's sort of like a, like a, like a computer joke. I am, my, my brain isn't big enough to understand it. Um, that is actually a rather good shop. I, I do believe, I think it has like random event items. Although there are interesting items you can get, like you can get another, uh, what is it? Like a microwave in there. 
And then there's other unique items too. I'm just gonna go directly back for right now. Because I think this is the only thing we need. Although I have to consult what else I need to make the steel saw. But I believe that should be the last major item I need to m open up most of the rest of the roof. Mario is a gynecologist? Why did he choose gynecology? Unacceptable. Unacceptable, Mario. <laughs> what have you done? What kind of doctor was he? Actually, he was a... He was a gastroenterologist. <laughs> Is it gastroenterology? <laughs> Entropy bear. That's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now I have enough for the steel saw, right? What else do I need for that? Is this a okay, I can finally craft it! Ah, my steel saw is had by me! I think I may even be able to- we'll see if I can actually get this thing to work. This- that thing is huge, but this is about as far as I got when I playtested. Um, I, like, had some success. We'll see if I can actually get it to work, but... Hey, like, the fact that I made it to this point is kind of cool. Um, I should probably be printing out more of these things. Does it have enough pipes in order to go off of? Here we go. Yeah, we'll continue creating that. Let's put in a little bit more of these. Cool, okay, so then this thing needs a little bit more plexiglass. We've got that over here. But the cool part is that now I can basically take apart everything in the game. So now I can get, like, scrap metal from everything. And all the things that appeared to be impassable objects before, now I can just, like, totally delete. So that is kind of nice. But, yeah, I can take down all the fences and stuff, too. But I think the one thing that you can't change is, like, the, like the stone masonry. But I should be able to get back in there as well and... Yeah, like, the whole world is kind of opened to me now, so that is kind of nice. Although I want to see if I can get the automation going a little bit here, and then I could start to take things apart. Really, it's it's the role of the engineer to, like, uh, you know, make a way for the Autobots to do their job, so I have to do some prep work here for that. But where is the, um... Oh, do I have another one of those Matrix things in here? I want to say that I put it away, but I'm not entirely certain. No, I, I guess I didn't. Okay, I'm going to need another microchip. I keep needing these microchips. I know where to get one now, but I'm like... I want to see if I can do it without starting another quest. Hmm. There we go. One and two. Ah, uh, I can totally destroy this thing that was in the way. That's kind of nice. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah, so there is, like, a lot of stuff that's like, yeah, like, we're still working on this, but, like, at least it's well-labeled. Um, I think... Was it? No, it wasn't here. Mm. Drill, extracting liquid. No, not this, not this, not this. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Let me just try to get all of this stuff out of the way, though, because I'm kind of tired of navigating this maze. So if we just take all of this stuff out of the way, then I should be able to get to and fro more easily. Okay, cool. So that thing was in my way for the whole time, and now it's just gone. Oh, whoops. Overheated again. Is AA6. Thank you for thinking of me, frankly, the mooch. Yeah, I'm a little under the weather. Getting a little bit better, though. For about a month. For about a month. Um, hmm. Think I'm good here. Now I'm just kind of randomly taking stuff apart. Uh, do I have five of those things now? I do need five of these. Let's put in one of them. Okay, I can print out the rest of those things, but then the Matrix... I think I might just end up going on another quest in order to get the last of those. Because then that will give me the recharging station. The only... like, rub there is I don't know if the bot will actually be able to get back without any battery to begin with. That might be, like, 
something that's still implemented, but yeah, we'll see. Let's go on one more expedition and get that, like, very valuable microwave. Ooh, energizing coffee! Electronic store. Okay, here we go. So this is the um, the microwave that we had been seeking. Summer colds are awful. Uh, actually, the one thing that we seem to get here in Florida is since you spend so much time like indoors during the summer because it's like it's too hot to do anything. Like you can't you can't go outside for any length of time. It's just dangerous. <laughs> um, of course, I guess. But like, yeah, you spend. Like, summer here is kind of like winter in the north. Um, though I suppose not everyone watching is in the... Uh, is in summer right now, unless if you're in the southern hemisphere. Uh, here we go. Because remember, it's always opposite day there. So that gave me the... Oh, yes, there is the microwave, which I had saw. I'll have a coffee there. Oh, wait a minute, I need to pick this up and then I can put it down. Put it down, and then I'll dismantle one more of these doohickeys. And then that should give me the last that I need, and then that should be able to help me create the robot recharging station. And that's pretty much, like, that's pretty much about as far as I got at the game, and I kind of wanted to show, like... It's kind of cool to me, and I feel like that the biggest pitch of this game is, like, you're basically starting off, like, skyscraper block, which I think is a really cool idea. Just like all the kind of survival crafting. And there's been so much emphasis on like colony builder, colony manager. I've, or I feel like I do a lot on this channel of that nature. I think it is nice to come back to a one man operation. It kind of centers you in that way. Um, I'd like to be able to get under the hood of a few more things. But uh, yeah, I think like... Uh, I don't know, aside from like those prefab... Like being able to take every single thing apart in the game is pretty neat. And have it be like still look good like one thing that I will say about this is that a lot of these like uh, a lot of the simulation games that I play on this channel or just like whenever I try out new stuff a lot of people will just go like oh the graphics don't like this game has nice visuals in it but it's nice that you can still get this kind of minecrafty vibe while still keeping like kind of nice graphics and like nicely constructed polygons and stuff like that Anyway, it is kind of like a tricky balance to find, and I, I often find that there's a lot of devs that have, well, that kind of struggle to bring them together, and I feel like that this game has done a good job for that, so. I mean, that's kind of my two cents. Where is more liquid, though? I'm looking for, oh yes, there is more liquid. Hmm, wait a moment. Oh no, that was just a dismantle, that wasn't a liquid extraction event. Here we go, liquid extraction. <laughs> do you do that when you drink? You shout, liquid extraction! And then you, and then you sup. You imbibe. I don't know though, that's just my take on it. What about you guys? Um, let me go ahead and see. Uh, okay, I need another matrix. I'm printing out more metal grates. Okay, cool. Finally, I get my matrix. Ah! Soon I will be able to recharge my bots! I think I'm just waiting for that, but let me see if I can go down to speed up the process even a little bit more. Um, I should be okay on hunger for a little bit longer. I don't think that will- I don't think I will die of starvation yet. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to extract the liquids. <laughs> now I'm going to- I'm not going to be able to resist saying that whenever I drink now. I will extract the liquids. <laughs> Yell that out at like a Starbucks and everyone will be running for their lives. <laughs> Liquid extraction! <laughs> Or like in the bathroom. <laughs> don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> You'll get arrested. <laughs> Liquid expulsion. Noom. 
<laughs> I've never seen a microwave up this close before. <laughs> Valid, honestly. Finishing up the bridge. I wonder if I can do a little bit more of that. That'd be nice. Ooh, I can even take apart these solar panels. That's kind of nice. Maybe people, maybe I like should have had something that I could actually construct in mind at the end of the stream. I've been like, ooh, I can take everything apart. Non-reactive injector required. Okay, so there are a few more things I'm gonna need. I don't really have any of those items. I couldn't really find any more of the metal stuff that I thought I was going to be able to find. Okay, we'll just get it from the resource printer then. Eh, what the heck. Let's see if we can get a little bit further with it. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, I never hit create on that. Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. All right, well, fortunately, that will go by fast. Anyway, let's do that. I feel like that would be kind of a thrilling way to end, because I do think that the bridge construction is rather exciting. After I finish off these, like, this pestilence. I still haven't found the thing to destroy these giant plants, though. So we will just murder all of the trees. We bring this wood over here. Now we can start to actually build out the bridge. I'll show you that. That seems like a cool way. Kind of segue into recharging my bot, possibly. How many farads are in the capacitors? I don't think I have the electrical engineering background to be qualified to answer any of that. L is one... You have outsmarted me yet again. Cursed you, L is one. <laughs> I have been smackledorfed for the umpteenth time. Unacceptable. I will de Smackledorf myself. Yay, Tony. Welcome from Argentina. And you're not dying, but you'll pass out until you change the coziness levels and settings of the men. Oh, did, is that what they actually added? Oh. I was told that that. that uh, I thought that that was. It. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a cozy meter. Uh, this was the mode I had been playing on before, although that one had been set to the default. Uh, yeah, I will set it back to regular mode. That way I will actually take damage when I start to starve, yeah. These things will start to eat my crops. I thought that that was added in for just like all together in the game. I stand corrected. I thought that that was just changed. Yeah, but indeed, it was on the harder difficulty. I was like, oh, this is oddly pleasant. Works for me. If it makes me look more like I know what I'm doing, I'm not going to argue with it, I suppose. But thank you for saying that. I actually didn't realize that there was like a coziness settings meter. Which is an, indeed a useful thing to know about. I think I'm going to make a lot of these nails because I'm pretty sure I require more of them for the bridge. I require more nails. Okay, cool. Ah, the bridge magically constructs itself. Ah, very nice. I just need five of those. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have the resources to get all the way across to the other side, but... What if I just don't select a role for him? I want to get you back to working condition in a bit. Okay, cool. I've got two out of five now. I just need two more. Oh, the other thing that I just realized is I'm going to need another bio generator. Um... Whoops. Um, defenses, demolish structure. Um, there is a way to move structures. Actually, it was a little bit... Open the construction panel. Can I do it from here? No, I'll just build another one. It's pretty easy to build that anyway. Okay, I need another bio generator because I'm also going to need to power this. So I'm going to need to put in the light bulbs, and then I'm going to need more steel, and then I can power that thing too. Only because obviously if I'm recharging stuff, I need to recharge the recharger. So I know that is kind of like necessarily a lot to do. Hmm. 
Ooh, a matrix right there. I don't actually have to do anything for that. That's good. Okay, cool. I can cut some more metal here. Grab a metal sheet, and I think I can just put that onto there. And then you can kind of have robots, like, recharge themselves, I assume. Either that, or you just need to constantly manage the power. Kind of in a factorian sort of way. But maybe that's just me. Ooh, is it done? Oh, 12 more seconds. Okay, finally. Ah, I can't wait to see it working. Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't hit create. Ah. My excitement is palpable. You're my future. Oh, thank you. The children are the future. Alright, let's go ahead and connect this to the grid. Ah, you have moved for the first time in many years. Let me get that fireplace out of your way. Let me just actually, like, destroy that. Because I feel like that's going to get in the way here. Ah, so you did have battery lying around. Dingus. Okay, yeah, so it goes in at... I know robots usually don't do that, but it goes in for, like, a jacuzzi. Ah, uh, yeah. So here we go. So now I'm going to give that some power, and finally we've got it recharging. I have made the way for near-perfect automation, if only I could, like, have the robot power itself. Although there are ways to do that. Um, but I probably won't be able to unlock them. So how much battery does that thing actually have, anyway? Oh, there's other ways to- you could upgrade it with more bottles of water. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Yeah. Anyway, so, like, having that thing do all the construction for me, and you can have them do the building for you, too. Ooh, that was actually really fast on its upgrade- on its, uh, recharging time. It's not like an electric car- oh, yeah, I have to reset its roll, too. I forgot. Let's have it be a collector again. No, I could have it be an engineer, like a constructor or something, but... Um, oh, did I hit accept? Hang on a second. Where are the zombies in the mouth and butts? Ah, <laughs> oh, the mouth and butt! <laughs> oh my god. Gone, but not forgotten. Actually, what happened to the mouth and... No, the mouth and butt had a perfectly good end. There was no sad, dreaded end of the mouth and butt. Sorry, referring to the Spore video from the other day. It was very fun. Oh, you're right! I can carry two large items at the same time. I was wondering what that one of two was. So what? Two on the... Oh my god. I've combined them into one! That is kind of nice, because otherwise it was a bit of a, like... It was multiple trips for all of those things. Can I cut it from... No, I need to be closer for it. Ooh, that's very nice! I didn't realize that I could do that! I don't think I had unlocked that other version of the cybernetic hand. Thank you for pointing that out. Would not have seen that. Alright, two more planks and then six of those metal grates. Uh, okay, can I actually see the other roof? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that when you get to the other end of the roof, like, I'm not... 100% positive that I'll have it in me today. Because my, I'm starting to, like, lose my voice now, and it's been a while. Um, but yeah, like, I feel as though... If only we had some more metal grates and we had a way to, like, automate the vegetation. Although this bot is now working so well that I'm now like, ah, it makes me want to do more automation and give him other companions that help him, because that would just make my life so much easier. Like, if you can take away the kind of tedium elements of it, like the kind of gathering and stuff, then you can work on more interesting projects, like constructing the bridge. But yeah, I think that you have, like, a pool over there, and I've seen in some of the shots, like, you can get a guitar and stuff. Um, actually, let me just see if I can get a couple more of these planks. Ooh, I can get two from this. Okay. One, two... Baldur's Gate. Is everybody else playing Baldur's Gate? Actually, I didn't even realize that they were coming out with Baldur's Gate 3. 
Not an FBI. Thank you very much for the two Australian dollars. Oh, wait, is that not... Uh, is that Australian? Oh, thank you, regardless. It is indeed interesting. Hmm. We've got six metal grates there. Just trying to see, though. Actually, I don't really think I have the pipe in me. Anyway, I feel like I showed just about all of the things that I wanted to show here. Like, we actually got decent automation going. We got the thing recharging itself. Uh, I mean, it's working really well, and I was like, uh, I'd run into one little, uh, issue before, but I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty stoked. I'm like, uh, I've got my own little factory going here. I've got farms. I mean, I kind of need them to do the farming for me, but I feel as though I could feasibly at some point, like, automate most of these processes for myself, which is actually pretty impressive for three hours into, like, a, a game that's mostly about like, uh, survival and crafting, but happens to have some automation in it. But yeah, anyway, um, I don't know, thanks for checking it out with me. I didn't want to show this off to you guys and just see what you thought of it. Um, as well as covering more variety, and it's just fun to work with Tiny Build because I've done Cartel Tycoon with them, but they're always coming out with pretty cool releases, and I wanted to check this one out. Anyway, after my friend Cromulan Archer had done it, he's actually one of the people who got me into Project Zomboid at the beginning, so I was like, ah, oh, cool. Anyway, I wanted to give it a shot. Um, again, shout out to Tiny Build for sponsoring. Uh, if you do want to check it out, there is the link in the description. Um, the game is in early access right now, so some stuff is still under development, so, like, coming soon. Like, that looks very sus. <laughs> yeah, so that part, but, um, yeah, like, if you watch this years from now, be sure to check an updated video. Um, but yeah, cozy survival automation crafting. Um, just trying to remember if there's anything else I wanted to say. Uh, I feel as though I actually did a slightly better job staying organized than in my former base. So I'm feeling like, I don't know, oddly proud of myself. But yeah, no, thank you very much guys for coming out. Sorry I've been away for so long, I've been pretty under the weather. Uh, like I said, I got, and if anybody asked during the stream, I, I know I missed it. I got like three colds in three weeks, and I've just been sick for an entire month. So I've been getting stuff ready, I've also been getting ready for a trip. Um, I'm gonna be at Gamescom. Uh, for an event, but yeah, if I see any of you guys there, um, uh, I, I may put out a, a thing of who to look for. Uh, yeah, I probably won't show my face, but yeah, if you happen to see me and think it's me, feel free to say hi. Um, I will be with a couple of my YouTuber friends, but yeah, maybe I'll see a couple of you guys there, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I'll, I'll put out a little post on it or something. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Alice one, thank you very much, Ben. And, uh, I guess we don't really have any raid in, like, the traditional Twitch fashion. But, yeah, uh, alright. For now, bye, guys, and, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, like, feeling better then. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you. Bye now.